Hello? Hello? Hello! We're back! We're back! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just looking up because Tusta, she's sitting there on 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 all the on the all the cushions. <laughs> Hello, Choco is today's first. Choco is today's first. Congrats. Yeah, I'm sorry I was a little bit late. Um, it was so we had we had a thunderstorm yesterday. So, um, uh, things were a little bit weird, um, even though, like, I unplugged everything, um, but apparently my, the, the lighting that I used didn't work right as I was about to start stream, so, um, I had to, I had to spend, like, five minutes trying to do that, so that's why I was a little late, but, you know, we are here, we're here, um, but hey, Orion! I, I still I'm not really good at reading what you say when you use the tiny font, but <laughs> luckily I can see it on on the screen here. That this is where I can read it. But no worries, no worries. You take care of yourself. You take care of yourself. Um. But I'm glad I'm glad you're here, even if you're just lurking. Um. So. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was also kind of like. Shh, scared that I wouldn't be able to stream today because I was in a lot of pain earlier. <laughs> I had to go die lie down and 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 try to take a nap uh, as well. Uh, it's it's been it's been rough. It has been rough uh these past few days. Um But luckily it got better in time. It got better in time. Yeah, because that's why I had to cancel uh, Wednesday stream, because, um, well, that and because I hadn't really slept too much, and I had been at work it, as well that day. So, things uh, don't always go as planned, and that is okay. That is okay. Um, but yeah, so, what, what I played last time was we continued playing in Stars and Time, which is a game we started playing on Saturday. It was for the raid train. Um, it was for the raid train. The the pride themed raid train. And I did say at the end of stream, like, you know what, this is probably gonna be my, my Tuesday game now. And uh, now it is. Now it is my Tuesday game. And on Wednesday I was supposed to play uh, Baldur's Gate 3. That didn't happen. But we're doing that today. Today we are gonna do Shadow Hearts questline. Um, I, as I've mentioned before, I don't really look up anything, so I don't know how uh, this fight is gonna go on Tactician, because a lot of, like, the bigger f boss fights have uh, legendary actions, either legendary defense or, uh, well, skill of some sort. Um, so I don't know what to expect now. And, um, so it, I highly doubt we're going to do this on the first try. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Uh, I did do it on my first try on my first playthrough, though, this fight. And I'm, I'm very happy with that. But that does not mean that it's going to happen on the first try today, because I highly doubt it. But we do have the globe of invulnerability. So who knows? That did help us in, in beating both Kazador and Gortash on the first try. <laughs> in Gortash's fight, I didn't even take any damage the entire fight, except my character, because I did something stupid. I just walked out of the globe um, for like one turn on accident and took a little bit of damage. Uh, but other than that, no damage. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I... We'll see how this is gonna go because a lot of people say a lot of people say that this is the hardest fight in the game that we're gonna do today. Um, and I can kind of see it. I don't know if I agree. I don't know if I agree, but I can I can understand because it was very frustrating. 
Um, but you also kind of woke up a couple of hours ago. I hope I hope you got some good sleep though, Orion. That remains to be seen. If if I will have to like how many times I'm gonna die. Well, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> hey Zoom boy, how you doing? Zero sugar sprite tastes damn good. I haven't had it in a while, but I do I do think it is okay. If I remember correctly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Marty. Hope you're doing well. Biconia does have a lot of enemies in that room. Yeah. Yeah, she does. She does. We could also do uh, the really, really evil thing. And I, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Don't worry. I'm not going to do that. It could have... I... Hmm... We could we could try to do it and reload and see what happens because I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to give Shadowheart up to Viconia. I, I know that that's an option. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be an option when she's a dark just this year though. I'm not sure. That's, that's what I mean. Like I don't know what's going to happen because I have not had Shadowheart be a dark just this year before. So like. We don't know what's gonna happen. She doesn't even know about her parents in this playthrough. So... Th things will not be the same. For sure. In a lot of different ways. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Sorry to disappoint you didn't know, Ryan. Yes, you are disappointing. No. <laughs> well, not in general. I just meant because y y I wanted you to sleep. That sounded really bad. I hope you didn't... <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> You're not a disappointment, okay? You are not, but it's it is disappointing that you didn't get to sleep a lot. Is what I mean. I hope I hope that was clear. <laughs> I feel bad now. <laughs> Prepare for your 10 days of van trip starting this afternoon, going to the mountain. <gasps> Ooh, are you going to you going to um, uh Wait, what, what, what are you going to do on the trip? Are you just going to go hiking? Or is it something specific that you're going to do? Uh, like, are you traveling to to so something? Something going on? Um, but that sounds that sounds fun. It sounds fun. Know what I mean, but didn't sound very nice at this moment. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, Orion. I didn't mean it that way. I know it sounded really bad, but I didn't mean it that way. <sighs> now I'm a disappointment. I am a disappointment. But then again, what else is new? <laughs> Visiting lakes and stuff in the most beautiful parts of Canada? Oh, that sounds really nice though. I, I kind of envy that. I would love to go on road trips uh, here in Norway as well because it's such a good country for for that and Canada. I've heard that Canada and Norway is very similar in 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 terms of like um, nature and stuff. No. Now you now I know you you're joking, right? <laughs> the hiking and paddling, pa uh, paddling. Oh, you have you have you have. Um, uh, What's the word? I mean, there are different things you can paddle in, I guess. Definitely will do Norway someday, I should too, if you want to. But I don't have a driver's license. <laughs> I don't have a driver's license. I can't, I can't go on road trips. And that's, well, I mean, only if I had someone to go on road trips with, but I can't do it on my own. Um, you have a stand-up paddle board? Oh, that sounds cool. Damn. But what are you guys gonna do when you move to when you move back to France? Uh, do you have to like sell the car and everything, or, or are you bringing the the car with you somehow? Can you go somewhere with a bus and hike? Well, yeah, yeah. But I, I was specifically talking about road trips, though. Um, could do that. Could do that. Selling the car, it's too much trouble. Otherwise, yeah. 
Yeah, that that, that makes sense. That's kind of what I was wondering when you when you mentioned it that you were gonna move back again. Like, what happens to the car? But yeah. But I hope you guys get to use it as much as you 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 want, and and so you get full taking full advantage of, of the car while you have it. Can sell a car in one day. It's okay. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I do remember you telling me that there was a, a lot of people who were interested in the car. Um, so I, I, I would imagine that it wouldn't take too long. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll see how this, this is going to go. We'll see how this is going to go, this quest. We did stop last stream. We did go to uh, House of Grief. And we did have... Well, we did meet Viconia. But we didn't go... Through the door. You know, the, the, the entrance. So we are currently in House of Grief. So... It's gonna... Like, the, the, there's, there's no distractions on the way. This is what we're gonna do today. <laughs> Everyone wanted summer van adventures. Not sure so many people will be interested in the end of October. You never know. Could be. Could be. I mean, you can still go on road trips. Uh, just not in the same way, but it's... The van is really cool and beautiful. and You renovated a little um, the decoration, so it's a good catch. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sure you guys will have no trouble selling it. It's gonna be fine. But yeah, uh, should we just get into the game? I'm, uh, I wouldn't say that I'm nervous. I'm just, I'm just kind of, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. <laughs> and if I have the right people uh, for this quest, I mean, I think I do. I think I do. Obviously, we need Shadowheart. Um, I also forgot how this went in my first playthrough. Like, I don't remember what the... I know that they do necrotic damage, but I think that if you did... Was it radiant damage? That they would do force damage in return or something? So it might be a good thing that I don't have Minthara because she does radiant damage uh, as a paladin. So, but anyway, well, <laughs> I guess we just have to go, go, go and see how it, how how it goes. You curious too? Never had dark hair, shadow heart at, at that point. Yeah, yeah. DJ Short is gonna. It's it's gonna be um, new in a lot of ways. It's gonna be yeah yeah. Let's play yeah. June got their own car recently. Oh what what wait. So you guys didn't have you you guys didn't have a car before because you lived um uh, so. Like in 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 like a bigger city, right? So it's only now that you've gotten one, you guys. Okay, let me just let me just start the game. Yeah, I I haven't even been in a relationship with anyone who's had a car. <laughs> even like my my well, well, it, it wasn't that serious, I guess, when, when I was in a relationship with someone with a car, but my last, like, my, my most recent ex, he also didn't have a driver's license. <laughs> so I, I don't even know what it's like to, to, uh, in that way, uh, I guess. Hold on, let me change the game capture. Uh, uh, There we go. Also, you know what we need to do? We need to switch out this one for this one. 
that's that's how it how it is <laughs> now when you move to the city you or june got alone to a parent's car at times but it was a bit of a hassle mm, i see i see i see i see let me pause the music I was gonna bump up the audio. <sighs> I haven't played since the 22nd. So it's been uh, almost a whole week again. To the Mother Superior. I don't know why I called it that, but you know, it's, it's it still works. It still works. I, I guess I kind of blanked out on her name. Uh... Yeah, I'm I'm really curious to see how this is going to go. I think we have a good party though. I do think we have a good party with Lazel, Shadowheart and Astarian and myself. Um I don't I don't I don't know how useful my character will be in this though, but <laughs> We'll see. Hold on, let me let me just talk to everyone. May the darkness protect you. Uh you don't have anything to say? Is something burdening you? Really? You don't have anything to say? <laughs> this is the first time I've actually seen both people behind me or next to me in in a dialogue because because of the staircase behind me, so you can actually see Shadow Hearts here too. <laughs> Usually they're just hidden behind you. Ask me anything, and it will be yours. Hmm. Well, I mean we do we do have to do this as well. Also, I'm not used to I'm not used to this. That when you talk to him, it's just it's just idling on on him instead of moving to you. That's that's is that I don't think that's normal. Then I'll see you tonight, you sweet generous thing. <laughs> yeah, like now this is this is what he usually tends to do. Okay, let's let's go. Shah's blessings upon you. Okay. It's just, I know that, like, Astarn, he usually has a lot of things to say during his quest. My faith protects me. Mm, piercing. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> hello again. <laughs> hey, clever. How you doing? A long way to go still. How's the progress? I mean, I just opened the game. I o I just opened the game, so we haven't done anything yet. But it's going. It's. I. I am. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. <laughs> oh, she's still carrying around. Dribbles his head. I. Okay. Uh, I just need her to to like smash this wall. <laughs> Immune to bludgeoning. Oh, it's only force. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I mean, we can get in there a different way anyway. Okay, just trying to say hi to everybody today. <laughs> um, I must keep going. What's all the party member status in this playthrough versus last time? You see, Lazelle is alive. Wait, you haven't you haven't seen? Is it has it been that long? I mean, we have, um, Astarin is ascended, uh, Shadowheart, no, uh, Lazel, she won't get ascended, even though, like, I tried, but the roll was 30, because I should have killed Voss, and I didn't, because, again, I've never had her in my, uh, in my camp for that long, so I didn't even know that that's what I needed to do. 
Uh, so she cannot get ascended. Um, but today, I mean, Shadowheart, she is a Dark Justicier, aka DJ Shart. Uh, <laughs> so she. Uh, this is gonna be different. Today, this is gonna be different. Watch your back. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. Minthara, we also have Minthara. Watch your back. Uh, Let's crack it open. Gale, I think Gale is gonna. Well, well, we'll see how things will go with Gale because <laughs> he 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 wants to get the crown, but it, in the ending that I'm planning on getting in this playthrough, I don't think that's gonna be possible for him. With haste. So I don't know how that's gonna go. <laughs> Hey, Swag, how you doing? I haven't been able to visit much this time through. No, 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 that's totally fine. I just thought that you you had uh, been here. Like in chat and stuff. Uh, uh, uh. uh what's Minthar's class? She's a paladin. Uh, I, I have not changed anyone's class. I, I have not... Pain here for Lady Shaw. I can't remember the faces, but I think I can still hear the screams. Mm. It is quietening place, but you must inflict pain in order to end pain. Lady Shaw's embrace can soothe all mortal torments. Yeah, so her uh, dialogue here is definitely different. <laughs> But yeah, I haven't changed anyone's class, and I have not multi-classed. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't really want to, because I know that there are different ways that you can make things easier for yourself by multi-classing. Um, but I kind of just wanted to see if I could. I'll give it a shot. Do like a tactician run without doing any research, if you, if that makes sense. In any way. Something good here, I hope. <laughs> Call you little wizard tits. <laughs> uh, but I mean, he is supposed to have like his, like everyone is supposed to get their bad endings in this playthrough, but I don't think he's going to be able to become what he wants to become simply because that's going to interfere with the ending that I'm going for, for like the overall playthrough. Um, are you good? Relaxing? Nice. Nice. Do you guys have any plans this weekend? I'm sure. A true workhorse in turning people to Lady Shah. They beg for her embrace. <laughs> they beg for her. I, 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 I think that's just you, Shadowheart. I'm sorry, but I think that's just you. All these implements. I'd wager they'd feel familiar in my hands. I learned so much here. Hmm. Uh, you've learned, but usually you have to turn the volume way low or off completely. Hmm. I th that's totally fair. That's totally fair. I understand. You don't. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to explain anything. <laughs> um. You did love being a paladin. Mm. Yeah, I think I think paladin is pretty nice. Um. I have usually had Minthara in my party instead of Shadowheart for this playthrough, though. Um, but obviously I need to have her now for this. And... Seeing as I don't think that Radiant Damage, which is something that Minthara does a lot of... I think Lazel will be more useful here. I think. I don't know. Because I've never had either of them. When I've done this before, I've only ha I've had Astarian, Shadowheart, and Karlac. And Karlac was carrying that fight. <laughs> she was... She was carrying that fight. Uh, for sure. 
This place is already making you feel upset and I just entered? Oh no. All is ash and meat. You've been doing a lot of house stuff and between that and work, you've been super tired, so only streaming Sundays lately. We need to let some garden uh to get some garden stuff. Got some exterior of the house repainted too. Oh yeah, I mean you gotta you gotta take advantage of it while the, the weather is, is nice and stuff. What are these mannequins here for? What are these mannequins here for? Hmm. Oh! It's the the uh, the the Minthara's uh, underwear. <laughs> let me let me. S s I never got to use this in this playthrough because I didn't kill her. <laughs> Wait, I also need to know. Uh, the robe that I'm using is pretty good. Like this is the best robe that I, that. That I've ever found in this game. Maybe except one, but I never got to use it in this playthrough when it really mattered. Um, the one you get from Alfira. So I can't really compare the stats because I've never had this one before either. Mm. You keep trying, uh, but you raised beds or uh, amended soil. Your current to-do is weed removal, barrier fabric, and some mulch to at least get that dealt with before you can more actively grow things. Keep trying to... Trying some seeds, but it's a struggle to get things going. Hmm. Yeah, you kind of need to make sure that you do... Uh, sow them at the right time and everything, too. Undead had disadvantage on attack rolls against you. How do I Okay, that's not going to be useful now. I used this in the Cazador fight, though. I don't know. Do they do frightening? They like, do. Do they do? Do they do anything that can make you frightened? I actually don't know. Hmm. I don't know. No traps, please. All these disguises. Sir. We were taught that Lady Shah's warriors had to be able to hide in plain sight wherever we went. I think this was my favorite part. Losing myself in here. Being someone else, even just for a while. Hmm. -mm. Well, it is interesting to see how she responds now, because obviously she will have different dialogue now. Elegant chest. Starring. Well, hello. You know what to do. Oh, you have trapped. Yeah, yeah. A little souvenir. Indeed. With pleasure. You've had different success with different places you've lived. Your soil there is better, but not consistent. And you honestly need to implement different kinds of protection. Hmm. But I mean, don't you have to like buy um, soil separately anyway? Also get sweets and scrolls, plant walnuts and stuff. Drives you, <laughs> drives you nuts. Was was that intentional, clever? I mean, it, it must drive you nuts if they do bring you the nuts. You know. Tread lightly. Need some bags of specific kinds of for certain stuff. Hmm. 
You have friends who planted in big rectangles and they elevated with good wad soil. Yeah, that's what I had too. Uh, or I guess I still have it. Um, Swift as my feet can carry me. The unburdening. Not be cursed. Is there anything else to do here? I don't think so. This is it. Where I was raised. Trained. Hells. It's strange to be back. Hmm. Well, now she had something to say. I feel... odd. My memories feel more like dreams, or stories I've half overheard. Hmm. <laughs> this place is miserable, even for the house of a god. Uh. Okay, so I'm wondering if we should have some potions. A starting's not wrong. It's yeah. <laughs> you can't take credit for that one. Uh, I'm not sure what I should use though, because I'm not. I've never played as a as a, um, a sorceress, so so I I don't know what would be best here. I didn't really have any spellcasters when I did this the first time. Well, except I was a bard, but I was a swords bard, so it's like. Hmm. Well, resistance to necrotic damage is useful here because they do necrotic damage. <laughs> so maybe that's something that I should use. But I don't have just one, do I? Well, it's more necessary for me, at least, than anyone else, I think. Indolence breeds madness. Uh... Gain advantage on strength checks and saves. Replaces effect from other elixirs when drunk. I thought she had some st other strength um, potions as well. There is work to do. She also has one for necrotic resistance, but I I don't know if that's useful for her though. At least things have stayed interesting. Oh, it probably is, but I don't know if it's the best one for her. Concentration is probably better for her. Um, where are my my strength potions? I'm not really looking at the potions, I'm just looking at the, um, the descriptions. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, the problem is I don't even remember what they type of damage they do except necrotic damage. But I did think that I had some more strength potions though. That's weird. Okay, well, she can only- she can use that then. She- she is- she is big now. He has quite a few. <laughs> this is what I was looking for. I just didn't think that he had it. Um... He... He's not the one who should have that. <laughs> he already does quite uh, a lot of critical hits, so I don't know if that would be useful. Emotional damage? Wait, which part? Potion of Universal Resistance? What? Are you just resistant to, to, to everything? Hmm. Yeah, he does not need initiative. I just feel like he needs to use something, too. You know? Get an extra action, a plus two bonus to armor class, advantage on dexterity hearing. Okay. Well, I mean, but that's only for three turns. <laughs> that is only for three turns, so... You know, may, might as well try that. Wait. He has 22 AC. Never quiet. Assume nothing. What's next, I wonder? He has the highest it's AC all out of all of them. I don't... <laughs> How many die today? I feel How like that that's strange. I don't I don't know. Okay, now we can we can proceed. Except I didn't give Shadowheart anything. Hmm. Because I was supposed to give her that. Okay, now we can now we can proceed. Never a dull moment. Uh you already had a hard time in this place emotionally, but for you it crashed so many times it didn't feel fair when you tried to attack specific enemies, it was too much. Mm. How much further can I go? Yeah, it is, uh... It's- it's rough. But I can imagine how much more annoying it would be if they- if the- the game kept crashing. Shah's blessings upon you. I- I could- I can do without Shadow. The Mother Superior raised all of this from nothing. In secret. It took years. Soon it will be mine. And with Lady Shah's blessing, it will become even greater. Okay. You were thinking if you make a new character, you will never be able to finish your first one, but you were too anxious to continue and with the lags and crashes, so you kind of did make a new one. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, trust me when I say that I, I... Keep going. 
the superiors expecting you. My off-stream playthrough, I have not finished that because I wanted to I wanted to finish my first one first. So I kept that one behind my, my on-stream one. But this playthrough? Uh well I mean I still haven't finished the, the off-stream one. <laughs> I've gotten farther than this one that I have on that. But I think that's more because I just didn't feel attached to my 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 character at all. I'm a tiefling druid on that one. And I just I don't know. There's something about my my character there that I just it kind of annoys me. I don't I just don't like it in in a way. I I don't know what it is. I have beef with my own tav, and I don't know why. <laughs> but for you, it's so hard to focus on different playthroughs at the same time, so it's like you can't really do two at the same time. Especially when you have one run with June, and that's the second one. Yeah, I understand that. I guess it's a little bit different when you stream it, too. Because I wanted to, I wanted to keep playing it even when I wasn't streaming, so I kind of needed to make a second one. <laughs> you don't have a lot of energy to be anxious, but you're still anxious of this place. How much you think and give also like backstory and lore and what happens in camp between the other things? Hmm. Yeah. Lady Shah smiles upon our endeavors. I thought you might try to flee rather than face us. Perhaps you are braver than I thought, or more arrogant than even I can fathom. No matter. You are here now to face the Dark Lady's judgment before a gathering of your peers. Give the artifact, and perhaps we will be merciful. No. I already faced Lady Shah. I passed her trials. I wielded her spear, and now I am her mortal voice. I have been embraced by her in ways you could only dream of. <laughs> Nonsense! Ravings! You've strayed, girl. You've failed Lady Shah's mission and allowed ambition to rot your mind. Tell her. Tell them all. Tell them how the Night Singer has blessed me. Yeah, I don't know why she... <laughs> yeah, DJ Shorts. That is, that is... You don't know if you actually want to see what happens to you and... Well, this would actually go better, though, than... Hold on. Before we go any further, tell me what this is about. Why do you even want the artifact? I mean, I know that. I, I need to re read these first. It's true, she survived the Gauntlet of Shar. She sacrificed Saluna's own daughter. She is your rightful leader. I saw her walk through Shadow Curse, where others fear to venture. Shar favors her. That seems like a bad one, and it. I'm an outsider. That is my disadvantage. I'm an outsider. <laughs> she slew a helpless prisoner deep in an ancient ruin. Perhaps that warrants Shard's blessing. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask this first. I did not consent to questions. But I suppose you have undergone a great deal to reach this place. And anything I tell you cannot compromise me now. For you will either leave on my terms, or not at all. Whispers reached my ears from all corners. Potential rivals of Lady Shah, all vying for the same prize. A new god, amassing the disaffected, the outcasts. Those who should turn to us. 
This absolute is but an upstart, disturbing the natural order and threatening to impede the glorious return of Lady Shah's pure, endless darkness. I had to act. I had to strangle that foul conspiracy while it was still in the cradle. We learned all we could. The artifact was the one thing the Absolutists feared. The one thing they desperately wanted to keep out of their enemy's grasp. I had to have it. Hmm. Guess you can get an advantage if you're playing Shard Origin. That's... Yeah, that makes sense. Or, well, I mean... I'm, I'm guessing it will be a different type of role then, because you don't have to back her up, because, I mean, if you're playing as her, you kind of need... Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it would be a little bit different uh, then. Shart will still be an outsider? What do you mean? Shar bid you to do all of this? Lady Shar's concerns lie elsewhere with another. But she is a goddess. She can afford to ignore that which does not threaten her. I must keep her faith alive in mortal hearts. I must defend her ways, lead her children, stop all threats. Even if I must go against her wishes, I will prove myself her most loyal servant. You think you know better than the Dark Lady? No wonder she sent me to this place of your poison. Tell them what you witnessed. Tell them how Lady Shah favors me. I will. Okay. We're gonna go with persuasion. We are gonna go with persuasion. Uh, we do, we do have disadvantage, but we can still make it, though. <laughs> um, she left this place? Yeah, but if she's DJ Shart... She won't be an outsider because I think what they mean by outsider is that you you're not a um, a Sharon, but she's still a Sharon. So if you if you play her origin and you become a DJ short, I would imagine that this would be a little bit different then too. But hey, Steph, it is nice to see you. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. That's what would be interesting to find out as origin. Mm. Doesn't it say if you hover over over it what it, what it means? Uh, well, I mean, I can't really see anything. It just says you're you're an outsider, but it doesn't specify what an outsider means. But I imagine that it's because you're not a Sharon. Um. But yeah, we're gonna do persuasion. Twenty. Okay. Uh. Yeah, it just says... Well, it doesn't really explain. I mean, we can still do it, though. It just gives you the lowest roll. Okay, well, I'm just gonna save again. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. There we go. I shall stand with Shadowheart. So be it. A traitor's end awaits you all. These are the desperate lies of trapped vermin. Nothing more. You are deluded, girl. I'm not here to convince you, mother. You are already disgraced in Lady Shah's eyes. I merely wish to give the others a chance to repent before they are dragged down with you. A coup attempt? Shadowheart will need all the help she can get if she's to win over the remaining diehards from Viconia's ranks. Damn. Uh, connect with her mind suggests she talk about the power Shark granted her. Use the parasite, urge Shadowheart to speak of the absolute uh, threat. Only she can lead them to victory. Ah, oh, I'm I I want I want to I want to do both of these because it's like, what if this one convinces Viconia though? But she's also very jealous or like envious of Shadowheart's. 
because she knows that Shadowheart is... She's basically been groomed into this role. Um, so I think she just has this innate envy of Shadowheart. So I don't think that she would side with her in any way just because of her feelings towards her. Um, but... I really want to see both. <laughs> Should we do both? Uh, she's big mad. Mm. Let's let's see. I just... I do want to say one, but I also want to see what happens if I say two. So we're going to say two first, but I want to stick with one, I think. Let's just see. Use the parasite urge Shadowheart to speak of the absolute threat. Only she can lead them to victory. Iconia would have you hide down here. Oblivious to the true danger. The absolute must be stopped. And only I can lead you. Lady Shah has decreed it. The absolute will be dealt with. As soon as I prize the artifact from your cold fingers. Enough talk, girl. The sooner we finish this, the sooner your blood can be sluiced off Lady Shah's sacred grotto. Will she start, to talk, uh, start talking about the other thing now, then? Give Shadowheart a chance to sway more of Viconia's followers. Enough speeches. The odds are already in my favor. Do you think the Dark Lady would want you to die for a lost cause? Or show some cunning and live another day? No matter. I built this place from nothing. I can always start anew once you've been dealt with. You were right about one thing. Lady Shah's church does need to be cleansed. By my hand. Okay, I just wanna... Oh, shit. Hold on. I just wanna see the other thing. But now we have... S <laughs> I think we have a lot of people on our side. <laughs> I think we have a lot of people on our side. I just want to say the first thing, that the, because that's what I wanted to go with. I just wanted to see, like, be, this seemed, this just seemed like something that would, um, um, would have an interesting outcome, but it didn't seem a like it did after all. Shadowheart will need all the help she can get if she's to win over the remaining diehards from Viconia's ranks. Yeah, connect with her mind suggests she talk, she talk about the sh power Shar granted her. I sunk a spear into the heart of the Moon Witch's daughter. Lady Shar rewarded me. She turned the pain that once held me back into the power that now drives me on. And she told me to cleanse her church of those who failed her. The traitor's ranks swell. Like a corpse left under the sun. I will take joy in making each and every one of you suffer. Enough talk, girl. The sooner we finish this, the sooner your blood can be sluiced off Lady Shah's sacred grotto. Give Shadowheart a chance to sway more of Ikonu's followers. Enough speeches. The odds are already in my favor. Do you think the Dark Lady would want you to die for a lost cause? Or show some cunning and live another day? No matter. I built this place from nothing. I can always start anew once you've been dealt with. You were right about one thing. Lady Shah's church does need to be cleansed. By my hand. Hmm. Okay, let's see how many we have on our side. Oh, holy shit, look at- There's only a few people on- on her side. <laughs> Damn. Holy crap. Uh. <laughs> well, that's fun. Um. But it's nice to see- it's nice to see you too, Steph. I- I hope- I hope you've been- I hope you've been good. Why are we typing with- uh, I think it's just Orion is- is- Like, Orion is just supposed to be lurking, I think. And then they just- 
kind of use the... <laughs> yeah. You've been good, just really tired. That is fair. That is fair. I feel that, though. Let's see. What is her... Wait, she doesn't... I thought she would have a legendary something. When you take radiant damage, reflect it back at your attacker twofold as force damage. Yeah, that's why... That's what I remembered. That she... That's why it's good that I don't have... Uh, Minthara, because she does radiant damage as well. As like a secondary thing as well. This should be, well, easier at least. Um, yeah, she does have Sanctuary, so I can't really do much uh, to her right now. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't think that he would, ha would have any advantage, but... Ah, oh, fuck you. I didn't- I didn't summon anything before this. Oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't summon the ghouls and I didn't use the- the hero's feast or anything. I didn't prepare at all, I just went in here. <laughs> uh, well, at least I know that it's gonna go well if- well, I mean, if- if I- if I do this without doing all of that, then, you know? Ah, I, I don't know. That was- that was- that was a terrible mistake. That was actually terrible. <laughs> And this is an action, too. It's not a bonus action. Dude, that is- that is so annoying. <laughs> that is so annoying. <laughs> I am Lady Anything but wolves. I was there when it was born. Wolves? You can- wolves yeah, that's- that's that fine. Uh, affected entity will be automatically critically hit by Vicone's attacks, and it has a disadvantage on s wisdom saving throws. Target is too far? How close do I need to be? Heading there. That close? Dude, that is so annoying. Hmm. Oh, she uses guidance. <laughs> um... So it's only the ones at the in the back here that are uh... Oh and this one. Hmm. Okay, we can use this one next round. Couldn't just go down here? Well, I guess that works too. Who is this one? Lady Shah's will shall be done. Hmm. 
Also, we're getting an ad any second now, but I'm... I don't think anyone's gonna miss anything during this fight. It's like... Because it might take a long time anyway. Not quite as long as the, the first time that I, I did this, but... I don't think it's worth waiting during the ad. Wait, why does she have disadvantage? Oh, it was just because she was in the... Darkness. Hmm. I mean, no. You know, I'm just gonna use action surge. Right away. Oh shit, she doesn't have enough movement. Uh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate because I can still use <laughs> that. Okay. Uh, you had to get like an, to put your pizza in because there was no plates available. At least you can eat. Mm. Well, that's good. That is good. As long as you get to eat, that's the important thing. That is a lot of green, yeah. Except for Viconia, there were only three, no, six uh, people on her side. So, um, I don't think this is gonna be too bad. Even when I forgot to summon my, my ghouls and, and, and use Heroes Feast and everything that I usually do before fights, So that was unfortunate. <laughs> I forgot to I forgot to do everything. Um which was really stupid, but hey, it's it's fine. Light on my feet. It's fine. I don't know if she heals at all. Wait, spell guard? Gain advantage on semi throws against spell, spell attack rolls against you had disadvantage. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I mean, I kind of need to use spells anyway, so detect thoughts. I don't need to use that. Wait, but I can use concentrated blast, though, because I'm already concentrating. Actually, you know, maybe maybe I should just turn into the Slayer because, you know, the... the no. Nah, I think I'm not gonna do that. Wow. Not surprised at all. Try this fight without trying to get the allies for practice for honor run with a resist or do you have to get rid of... Get rid of DA. What do you mean? What what does DA stand for? Uh, so my my off stream uh, character is just on. Oh, Dame Aelin. Oh. Hmm. But no, I don't. I don't have to do that. You can resist the dark urge, which is, which is what I want. What I want to do on an honor mode run. So I will. It will basically be like a good run anyway. So she's not gonna be dead in that playthrough. Um, 
but I am planning on probably just practicing on these uh, fights on my off-stream character because that one is on a explorer mode, which is the easiest difficulty because I just wanted to... I, I don't know. I just wanted to play for the story, really, on my off-stream one. And... But I'm planning on just bumping, bump, bumping up the difficulty to... Uh, during some of the fights so I can practice then because I'm already in Act 3 anyway so I'll probably do that because I've done all the all the, the good things there anyway so it will basically be the same thing even though it's a tab and not a dirge the only thing that I can't practice is the <laughs> is the fight against Orin I suppose because that will be different. The next thing I shall prevail. The dark lady's fools must die. Well, that's rude. Damn. I think he's dead. <laughs> I think I think he's already dead. <laughs> Damn. A star and hit so fucking hard. <laughs> I think he doesn't need he doesn't need to go that hard, but he does. Um Well, that did you a whole lot of good. Oh, maybe we should try do doing that. But it is a spell, though. Yeah. Four percent? Uh... Well, I can try. Yeah, I didn't- I didn't think that would work. Oh. Two critical hits in a row? Are you kidding me? Oh, she knocked the spirit guardians out of me. <laughs> I mean, she was pretty weak. As long as you don't use any spells on her. Hmm. I kind of want to jump up here so she can attack this one. Wait, also I need to make sure that this one doesn't have any specific ones. Temporarily hostile? If you knock out this entity or flee from combat, it may harbor some resentment towards you. But it will not remain hostile. Hmm. Nah, we'll kill her. <laughs> we'll, we'll kill her, it's fine. Uh, you made the new character and it's a monk and charisma is 8 and you made a tactician mode and you have learned that you should not fight all the time. Uh, not that you want to, but you fail many roles because of the 8 charisma. Yeah, you should definitely have a high charisma character uh, for a higher difficulty, I, I think. Now I'm gonna use Lacerate. Five. Okay. <laughs> that sound. <laughs> you also died at the Nautiloid. Remember those darkness pool things gave you too much problems? 
yeah, it was it was a little bit rough, but this this time it's been really easy to break their concentration. Um shouldn't have made me your enemy. Yeah, I didn't think that would work, but wait, 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 I can bite her. Let me let me let me bite. Now I'm happy. <laughs> this one misses all the time. Uh, it's actually fun with a charisma at points, but with the rolls. But you do have Will with you this run, so he's also dedicated shop person. Hmm. Yeah, I had the, um... Uh, what's, what's it called again? Um, you know when you choose your, um... You know when you can choose to be, like, either, um... What's it called? I, I forgot what it's called. Um... Background. When you choose your background, <laughs> that's what I wanted to say. When you choose your background, uh, in my first playthrough, I chose the one that was like a guild one. So I already had like I didn't, I didn't really plan ahead, but it gave me so much discount on on shops. So it was really nice. Ah. Uh, Fine. That was... <laughs> I mean, I should have known that that would be enough to, to kill him, but damn. That's wild. Now it's only her left. She's the only one left. Well, this went... Fast. <laughs> I only took three damage, and that was Shadowheart. Shadowheart took three damage, and it was from her shield bash. What will come now? I <laughs> it was from Viconia's shield bash that that she um took three damage. That's that's wild. That that is wild. Easiest fight fight in the game. I mean, it... I can only hope for mercy. So you think you have won? Time will tell. Far easier to claim something than hold on to it. They will turn on you in time when you hear the whispers and see the blades drawn. Remember my face. I won't remember you at all. Nobody will. Kill her or turn her loose. It doesn't matter. She's finished either way. I mean, seeing as, um... Seeing as I'm, um... A ball spawn. I, I letting her go is just not really very on brand. I did do that on my first playthrough too. I killed her, <laughs> so and she also has a pretty nice outfit. So you know we're gonna we're gonna do it. Let's see what Of my Knives in the dark. Um, hey, Craig! Successfully bouldering the gates. Honestly, this has been one of the easiest fights in the game, and it's this far. 
like out of the big fights in the game and this is supposed to be one of the hardest ones in the game but because we're playing as an evil character things went a lot different dj shard yeah because she's a dark justicier and her nickname is shard shadow heart <laughs> so it just <laughs> just works very well um while obscure, the wearer has advantage on stealth checks. Shield of Faith also grants you plus two bonus to all saving throws. Handmaiden's Mace set the wearer strength to 18. The enchantment has no effect if their strength score is higher without it. Hold on. Her strength is 13. I mean, I know Lazel already Lazel already had has 18, but get on with it. Just check for anything useful. Yeah, Things I'm just going to see if this unusual. is Oh, it is better. This place has okay, she's going to use this mother then. Superior Viconia as leader. All this time the mother superior was unworthy. Even though, you know, she does get two extra spells that are really useful. We'll see. You gain advantage on saving throws against spells. Spell attack rolls against you have disadvantage. Okay, this is definitely better than what she has. So, you know, she's going to use this shield. But this is better for my character than for her. No one back home will ever believe this. Um, you're also trying to make notes of places and levels and who to try to bring when you might be able to try on or run. Mm. You wonder if she says the line here? Which line? Damn, that looks pretty damn good on my character, though. Let's see. I never would have imagined her losing control of this place. What did I? Mm. I don't know. I feel like they're kind of like, kind of equal in a way. But yeah, we'll we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Dark lady, all now she is gone. This also looks better. Uh. Wait. Yeah. But she has create a dark shroud that heavily obscures and blinds creatures within. Creatures cannot make it ranger. Da, da, da. And she also has this one. I haven't really gotten to use it though. I tried now, but it had four percent success rate. So you know, it didn't it didn't work out. So I haven't really tried it. But this does more damage. But a weapon enchantment. The other one is better there too. But it sets the strength to 18, though. Can I use both? <laughs> can, I, uh, can, can I use both? <laughs> it would have been nice if I could. Um, I, I don't think she has... Yeah, I, I don't think she could anyway. But, you know, it would have been nice if I could. It would have been nice. Also, how much do... 68? Yeah, I haven't really had her in my party. Uh, I've only had her in my party for the Gauntlet of Shar, really. So, this is pretty good for not having her around as much. If the shoe fits. Mm. You spent three hours running errands, but finally done. Beautiful day and 
ready to enjoy the weekend. That's good. That is good. You deserve to enjoy your weekend. Do you have any plans, though? Also, guys, guys. Important thing. If you don't know, Baldur's Gate 3 is 20% off now on Steam. So if you haven't bought it yet, this is the, the biggest discount the game has had since it came out. The only time it's been discounted before was around Christmas when it was 10% off, but now it's 20% off. So if you have been considering buying it when it goes on sale, now is the time to do it. Now is the time to do it. What if I give it to Astarian though, and then he can have... <laughs> Hold on, let me see. What if I just... What if I just give him... Um... Uh, Because he can, he can, well, I don't know if he's proficient with it, though. He is. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. Ah, that's insane. <laughs> uh. Holy crap. Um... See, he has 18 strength and 20 dex. That is wild. I just I just want to see how this is going to go. <laughs> I'm going to see how this is going to go. Um What will come now, I wonder. Al Talon. That's a name. Embrace loss. Mm. I remain your humble servant. Yeah, she I don't think she said that now. You also read about the classes and that that stuff because you saw some comments on some builds and stuff. You don't quite still understand everything, but you have some plans. Yeah, I have read I read a few things. Like I haven't looked looked it up, but I have read comments about it and stuff. Um, and it was one asshole that was like, when I posted the the clip when I beat um, Orin, it's like basically just kind of shamed me for not playing as a sorlock as in like a sorceress warlock um <laughs> but i didn't i didn't want a multi-class in this playthrough so so there are a few multi-classes that i have seen that are good like sorlock and um and um when you combine what if Lady Shah still supported like a gloom stalker um assassin times, Lady Shah. our future lies with shadow heart like a starian as that or uh a bard and paladin as well i always believed she spoke for the night singer i mean there are a lot of combinations that i've seen that are apparently really good but i haven't looked into it too much Okay, let's talk to the Owl Talon. A new era can begin now that we have purged ourselves. You think you're gonna wait until next year for Baldur's Gate 3? Want to commit to clearing your current sizable backlog? Uh, yeah, that's what I say too. Never happens. <laughs> The backlog is going to be there forever. It's not going to be... Never going to be able to play all of them. I know that for sure. But... I, I like your commitment, though. I chose the winning side. <laughs> all will be well. Yeah, she didn't. You think you want to multi-class someone into acts... Uh, into two or three levels of bard for the inspiration? Mm. At least I still draw breath. It would be strange to answer to a different leader. The Mother Superior has ruled this place for as long as I've known it. Not in any way I hmm. comprehended. I never would have imagined her. The Mother Superior lost her way. She sealed her own fate. That she did. Also, I, I need to get rid of some stuff here because I'm overburdened. I don't think I'm going to be using this anymore. So we're going to send it to camp. Uh, yeah, 
I'll send those to camp as well. We won't need the amulet of ball. Wait. I want to hit inflicts bleeding upon targets that have maximum hit points. I have never actually looked at this before. What does the star in use? Because he... The... I forgot to change the... I only had this one on because he uses restoration on my character after long rest. I forgot to switch it back to this one. <laughs> Dude, I have done so many stupid mistakes today and I still didn't take more than three damage. Are you are you kidding me? Is this what it means to be a god gamer? <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Could never say that with a straight fa uh, straight face. Uh, okay, we we're gonna we're gonna send these to 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 Lazel. <laughs> I swear that that was that was that was one hundred percent a joke because I have struggled a fair amount in this playthrough. Very well. The unworthy had to be removed. It was the Night Singer's will. Um, but you don't have too much planned, gonna grill a burger and steaks tomorrow and setting up a game of Lethal Company with friends on Sunday. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. But not Tab, because you can give them to, to self. Yeah, I mean, that's true. She didn't need us either. But why would you, why does that matter though? Because then you can't give it to you can't give bardic inspiration to the character who has it anyway. But does it really matter if if your character has bardic in, uh, bardic inspiration or not, or if a different character has it or not? How dare you not play the right way? I don't know why people are like. <laughs> it's also for some people the more convenient or proficient way is not the same for other people and you feel some people fail to see that as well yeah and also it's just sometimes it's more fun to challenge yourself and see how well you can do without following you know the the tried and true way you know what I mean the mother superior is vanquished I can scarcely believe it I feel like it's more fun if you figure out ways to deal with things on your own instead of just following some guide that tells you how you're going to succeed. You know what I mean? Because that's how we figure out how to do things in a new way that maybe other people haven't thought of before, you know? Pro BG3 player. <laughs> I need to handicap myself. No, that's so bad. Don't. No. This place has known no leader but the Mother Superior. Change will be curious. But yeah, so we now Shadowheart will be the leader. We had to get rid of the Mother Superior. We had to cleanse ourselves in the eyes of Lady Shah. Now is your time to comment on everybody that this fight is easiest in the game and other people's builds just suck. What a bit funny. Wait, did I just talk to you? Yeah, I did. I did. But that's why I've been saying that the only, only time I would probably just look things up and see what the... Um, I felt the best ways to do certain now. things Our would be only for an honor mode run because you literally only have one save and you can't die. So, the title of Mother Superior has rejoice, Lady Shah's ranks have been cleansed. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't want, wouldn't want to take the same chances then. Um, the unworthy have been cast down, and our faith has been renewed. 
you wanted for your character the inspiration you also have plans like role play plans so it would fit hmm. playing your own way is way more fun especially on the first playthrough rather than trying to min max and yeah well yeah i mean this is not my first playthrough though but even even so i kind of all will be consumed by lady shah's darkness in the end even the mother superior this is still a new like new way of playing the game because everything is going in a different direction or except the main quest i guess well i mean it's gonna end a different way what comes next for us but i wonder i yeah i just it wouldn't feel as satisfying if I just followed some guide on how to make sure that I would do the most damage and uh, succeed as as fast as possible and in, in, in the best way. A self-help book warning against the dangers of self-pleasure. I knew this book was here, but I didn't know that it was the first one that I clicked on. I, I didn't know it was the first. I thought it would be on this table. <laughs> uh. You would just want explanation of how things work so you can think what way you want to do things, but many things and guides and tips are like you don't even explain why or what makes the build work or do what they do. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to talk to everyone. I, can be loyal to the new leadership now. I forgot to pick this up on my... Treasured in light, lost in dark. Start raiding into other streamers and tell them how they're romancing story and all wrong. Well, you know, you know, um, there are ways to romance him wrong because then you would fail and you wouldn't know until it was too late and then you would have to backtrack. So, you know, it is possible to do it wrong. Um, <laughs> but that's, that goes for all the characters though, which is really sad. Like if you miss certain things in act two, and you enter Act 3, suddenly he will just break up with you, from what I've heard. Um, so it is possible to do it wrong. <laughs> and then you would just learn the hard way, but then, yeah, I would never tell anyone that, but... Um, I would be devastated if that happened to me. <laughs> if you did the same exact characters, the game would still go differently because the RNG and because you can't do the exact same. Yeah, that is true. What would also, like how people would think what is like new way of doing things well i mean what i mean by new things is like you can discover i mean you can never know that it hasn't been done before but you don't know if it's like a well-known thing um you kind of wanted to make a bard again to because now you have more info, but you really want to do so many things as well. Yeah, I, I, I love Bard. I don't know if I like. I am very, I'm very torn between wanting to be a druid, a paladin, or a bard in my honor mode run, or if I should multi-class one of them, or two of them. I, I mean. Is this my final task for Lady Shah? Uh, yeah, this this part is gonna go differently now because she doesn't know. She doesn't know who these people are <laughs> in this playthrough. <laughs> uh, it's gonna. I'm, I'm kind of nervous about that. I won't lie. I, not really nervous, but curious, I guess. A ledger bearing the names of those incarcerated in the Chamber of Laws. Some are noted to have died. Yeah, it's only these two. You want just plain explanation of mechanics and 
what things actually do, not a just equip this, this and that, because it's best. Mm. Sometimes like a whole build is depend on one thing, and if you don't have it or don't want that exact thing, and the whole thing wouldn't work. Mm. I mean, like for some people, new things, uh, new thing is same character but doing things differently, and for some people, it's completely flipping everything around. Oh yeah, but uh, I mean, I thought you meant when I said discovering new things. I meant, I meant more like. When I said that, I meant more like hacks and stuff. When you discover new things in that sense, like um, an, an efficient way of doing things that wasn't already um, in some some guide or something, but you just discovered it on your own. That's what I meant by that. Um, cautiously intrigued. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it, Craig. Kinda wanna make a character that has multi-class into everything. You don't care how efficient it is, but you think that would be absolutely terrible or sometimes fun. I did that with Jahira in my first playthrough because there's an achievement for it. Uh, and she was the only character that I hadn't uh, leveled up at all. So I, I tried to do that with her. Um, it was... <laughs> it was not that great. And I used her in combat for it too. Um, <laughs> it was... Not, not the most efficient, no. Okay, let's see what she has to say. It seems Viconia sought a greater purpose than Lady Shah had decided for her. Ironic. She tried to cling to Lady Shah's good graces, but that just hastened her downfall. She should have just obeyed, forgotten about the artifact. Then, perhaps, she could have still served the Night Singer. Under me, of course. Do you see the little blood spatter she has? And that all comes from, like, taking three damage. <laughs> um, Viconia won't be a problem anymore. What comes now? The Chamber of Loss beckons. Lady Shah has one final task for me. Then all of this will be mine. Hmm. Viconia sought that which she could never have controlled. Her failure was written from the start. True. This sounds amazing. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, it was it was it was interesting though. Ask me anything, and it will be yours. How are you taking damage? He hasn't taken damage, he even has the the temporary hit points, but he still has blood. Well, maybe it's not his blood. <laughs> you wanna want to make other party members like that? Only the, the Tav? Well, I did reclass her afterwards, though. Um, I only did it for the achievements. Um... And then I also tried it out. And it, you know, it worked. It just wasn't the best. Um, but then I just re respect again and had her be a druid as she's supposed to be. He did a snack, probably. No, that was me. My character did that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know how this is gonna go. How far do I have to go before it... The cutscene starts. Do we have to talk to them? Oh, we probably do. Another vile trick. That was me. I did that. How? Gift to you. 
Power is not created. It merely changes from one form to another. Their pain becomes your might. Their suffering furthers your glory. I don't understand. Who are these people? Arnell Hallowleaf and his wife, Emily, once. They were among the most fanatical of my sister, Salula's followers. But for years they have been here, resisting my embrace, just as I wished them to. Oh, she's Their such a piece of shit. resolve allowed me to shape you. But I need not tell you. I can show you. It is time to remember. Time to remember everything. You find yourself thrust into Shadowheart's mind. But it's different than before. There's more. More than you or she can comprehend. A flood of restored memories, finished thoughts, revealed secrets. <gasps> oh, we do get this scene after all. It's baby short. Do 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 do. That is so evil to show after all. I thought that she would just not have her know the truth. But then she still tells her the truth and has to be make this decision now. Right after knowing that. That's so cruel. <laughs> um, you don't want to see this. Actually, you might have to maybe not watch, but you, you know, you'll cry. It will take a break, you think, because you're already overwhelmed. Yeah, do what you need to do, Ryan. Do what you need to do. As yeah, so for those who don't know, those are her parents. But she would have known about her parents in Act 2. But this is the end of Act 3. And I didn't know that Char would tell her about it at all. I imagine that she would have to make the same decision... But I didn't know that she would know what the she actually did. Your memories, they're restored. Yes. I, I remember it all. I remember them. My parents. What have you done to them? We, child. We did this to them together. My power and your will. Jennifer? Jen? Is that you? Why you look so tall? It's not her, Em. It's just another trick. Another way to hurt us. It's me. I'm Jennifer. Jennifer is no more. She never left those dark woods. It was Shadowheart who emerged. This woman gave birth to you. But I made you. I am your mother. Why are you doing this? She didn't need to know. That That's literally what I'm thinking. Like, why did she need to know? I mean, I'm going to remain silent, but I want to see what she says to that because I won't... I don't know if I'll ever do this again. So I kind of want to see what she says. A sacrifice. 
sacrifice is not a sacrifice if it has no meaning. This is the final step. Snuff out the last embers of your old life so that you can finally be who you were meant to be. Kill them. For me. Then I will take the memories away from you again. Loss will heal you. And you will be my right hand at last. Oh, that's... I, I, I don't know. Like, this is actually so much worse now than it was in my first playthrough. Because... That was... In my first playthrough, I had no hesitation at all because I I felt like you know there's no this is no dilemma. Of course, I'm gonna gonna let her parents live because this is not actually a difficult decision for me. Like she would be more in more pain if she had her parents die and she was the one who killed them. Then you know letting them live and have this this um pain in her hand that that just seemed like nothing in comparison to having killed your own parents you know so that was not really a question for me at all but now that i have to <laughs> kill them <laughs> because that's that's what we have to do here because she's supposed to be dark just this year and this is supposed to be an evil place here so now i have to make her kill her own parents and it's so bad. <laughs> That's what you're thinking? Tell her who they are and make it a true test of loyalty? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it does make sense, but she's also a very petty god and cruel god, so or goddess, so she would I feel like she would also it's not just because of that. Uh, I have to say three, and I don't, I don't want to. But I, I, uh, I thought that I was done with the difficult decisions in this playthrough because I had already committed to this, and in the first, like the first act, that was the most difficult. Time to make evil choices. Or Act 2 as well. Act 3 has not been that bad. Uh, but you can tell that she she's... Um, I said 2 in my first playthrough. I feel like we will, we will get more dialogue out of saying two than saying three, but I want to see, just to make sure. <sighs> yeah, kill them, Shadowheart, they'll be forgotten again soon enough. That's... They're my parents. I don't know if I can. You can. You must. Do you remember your training, child? I know you do. All the times you stood in this room, wondering why this pair seemed so familiar. All the times you honed your skills on them, they remember everything. The pain, the pleading, their torturer wearing their daughter's face. End their nightmare. Give them peace. I actually don't know if that was revealed at all. I don't think that I knew that at all. That she was actually torturing her parents. Like, she was forced to torture her parents. I don't think that that is something you get to know. Unless you say what I just did. Uh Yeah, I think we're going to say one. 
man, I can't believe that her parents... I... Imagine... Imagine the... Imagine how that fucks with your head as a parent. Being tortured by your own child. And then still actually, you know, loving that child. Because you know it's not... You know that they've been brainwashed to do it and they don't know that you're their... The, their pay... Uh, the, you don't know... No, they don't know that you're their parents. So you can't really blame them either, in a way? I don't know. Uh, what if I just say, do whatever you feel is right? I just want to see what choice she makes. That's right. Have I ever known what that truly is? Do your duty. This one final trial. Then you will be home. No! You've already brought me to what I need. My family. My real family. Don't anger her, Jen. Just get out. Save yourself. I am saving myself. I'm Wait, what? She actually makes her that I'm decision so easily on her own? I didn't even try. I didn't even try my first playthrough either, and I heard so many people say that they couldn't save her parents. I don't- I really didn't think that that would be so easy. I just wanted to see what she would do, like what choice she would make on her own. That's wild. But we're not gonna do that though. <laughs> Uh, we're not gonna do that, but I just wanted to- I just wanted to see. Child? I know you do. All the times you stood in this room, wondering why this pair seemed so familiar. They remember everything. The pain. The pleading. Their torturer wearing their daughter's face. And their nightmare. It's a little disappointing Give that their storylines merge. Honestly, I agree, uh, because she already made the choice to become a Dark Justicer, and... But I think it's it's because she learns about it now. Maybe this will be different if you say, do whatever you feel is right. If you tell her that when she already knows about her parents, I think it's also because, you know, she just found out about it. Like, this is brand new information to her, but it wasn't before. But I was also expecting her to... I was also expecting something different here. But sure, finish this and their, and their suffering. That, that, um... Whatever happens, we love you all the same. We never stopped. Thank you, Moon Maiden. You let me see my Jennifer, my baby girl, one last time. Don't call me that. My name is Shadowheart. You are just lost, Jennifer. Saloon will show you the way home in time. Are mine when I need them, and her power 
It's right at my fingertips. I can't believe it. Honestly, I'm a little bit speechless at that because that was that was a wild uh, cutscene there. I don't really know what I was expecting, but it was it was a little bit more um, intense than I thought it was. <laughs> it was gonna be. <sighs> and why is she smiling? Stop smiling! It's not the time for that. It's too soon. I can you kill your parents for this? Why is my character so sad? <laughs> what should I say? She she's she's too happy, but I, I mean she did say that she would forget. I, I wanna I wanna see what she says to all of these. Just because I want I need to know if she knows or how she responds. I would never do this though. I'm only doing it for the the, the, the see. Don't be ridiculous, I never knew my parents. Whoever these poor wretches were, they're strangers to me. It's time we left. We're not finished with the Absolute just yet. Only now, Shah's forces are mine to command when the battle comes. Damn, she, she, uh, she was, <laughs> she was like, uh, don't be ridiculous. M my parents are long dead. <laughs> They're long dead. Uh, you found that often the opposite storyline, ascended evil versus non-ascended good are a bit boring. Mm, you would expect a different story, but in the end, it's just a lack of story. You feel that when you don't play good and character evolution, etc., you actually miss the companion story development. Whatever happens, we love you all the same. We never stop. Yeah, that's kind of how it is with. Thank you. Don't call me that. You are just locked. My name. We, we don't this need to. We don't need to see that again. Still, no longer. <laughs> it's done. This place is mine now. Shah's um, forces are mine when I need them, and her power, but yeah. it's right at my fingertips. In, in the game, you, you are kind of rewarded for doing the good thing. Like, you're not rewarded for doing the bad decisions here in this game. Well, I mean, in a way, you are, because she becomes a lot more powerful as a Dark Justicier. Uh, and a Starn also becomes more par uh, uh, powerful when he's uh, ascended as well. But it doesn't really make up for the lack of everything else, I think. I I, well, I mean, I don't know. I haven't really seen what happens after this. Um, but yeah, those two corpses, corpses, do you know who they are? Sacrifices. My final test, whoever they are. A rather meager offering to the Dark Lady. But it's not my place to question her. It's time we left. Very meager We're not offering, with sure. The yeah. Just yet. Only now, Shah's forces are mine to command when the battle comes. But yeah, it's like, it's supposed to be difficult to make the bad choices because it's not really... The game doesn't really reward you for being evil. But they kind of do the same thing in Undertale as well. If you do a a genocide run, it's like the game... I haven't really seen too much of it, but from what I have seen, it's like... The music stops playing in the background, everything becomes too easy, and nothing becomes... Like, it's not satisfying to, to do that type of run. You know? tempted to tell Shadowheart what she did to see if I can jog her memory. I doubt Shah would take too kindly to anyone meddling in her little project, though. Hmm. Damn. Astarian. Damn. Stop it. <laughs> no. No, that's so mean. Shadowheart's chosen her loyalties. Good. 
It is always best to know where one's allies and enemies stand. That sounds like a threat from Lazel. I won't lie. Um, we're getting an ad starting now. I don't want to talk to Shadowheart before the ad is over. Uh, just saying. I guess making a whole new stuff for evil stories should ju would just double the work for the game developers. Yeah. But they th that's why they are adding more evil endings now uh, with the next patch. So I guess they are going to make it a little bit more worth doing um, in that sense, because I don't really know anything about the endings, though, uh, except the one that I have gotten. So I don't know anything about evil endings. Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, patch seven is gonna is gonna add evil endings. I think there's one for dark urge and one for like just a general evil ending. I don't know if there's. I think there's only one for dirge specifically, and then one just a general evil ending. Yeah, I mean they they also showed some some. Well, not clips, but there's, like, GIFs uh, from cutscenes of those endings, too. Um, the Dirge one, <clears throat> I'm not gonna say anything specific, but it was it was giving very uh, Berserk vibes, uh, I have to say. <laughs> this is why I often get the illusion of choice in games to make true branching paths mean a ton more programming, animation, voice acting. Mm. But I mean, they do have a lot of uh, extra dialogue for, for evil things, though, in this game. So they have put a lot of uh, effort into um, any different decision that you could, could possibly make. So they have, they have taken that into account. So there's a lot of, when it comes to voice acting and stuff, they have prepared for that, but I guess there are a few other things that they haven't really done too much with. BG3 gives a very, very good illusion of choice. But I mean, they do... You do have choices, though. But it's, it's just not as rewarding. Um... Or I guess it depends on how you define what you would consider rewarding, though. I have to say, I was- I was- I was crying for, like, a little- like, uh, I was crying a bit- little bit in my first playthrough when I had to do this. But overall, it wasn't a difficult choice. This was a- more of a difficult choice to me- uh, to make for me. Uh, from what you've seen, BG3 does put more than most into making your choices truly matter and have an impact. There's a reason it won, like, every award. Yeah, this game is the first game to have won Game of the Year in uh, from all the different award shows. No other game has done that. <laughs> no other game has done that. But yeah, we're back from the ad, so I'm gonna do the... I'm gonna talk to Shadowheart now. The final sacrifice has been made. I am Lady Shah's right hand now. It has all been worth it. Every step, every trial, every drop of blood. Hmm. I had no regrets about killing Bikoni. I don't- I, I- well, I was the one who killed her. Let's be real here. Um. None. She sealed her own fate. I was merely Lady Shah's instrument in delivering the final blow. Still, I learned much from the late Mother Superior. It was the least I could do to make that final blow a swift one. To be fair, Starn was the one who did the final blow. <laughs> or maybe a one just because people are horning. 
I think that is what most people think if they haven't played the game themselves, because there's very little uh, romance content in this game. And you can tell that by people who have been roped into this game thinking that it is like a dating sim. And then they get disappointed because they have to do a lot of combat. <laughs> It's like, why is there so much fighting in my dating sim? Like, that's... That's just false advertising, okay? It's not that much... Romance stuff in this game. It's not. It's very little. Like, you have... If you romance one character, you have maybe... Two scenes. Two scenes in the entire game. That's it. That is it. Um, and a lot of playthroughs are like between 150, 200 hours, maybe 250, I don't know. My first playthrough lasted for 222 hours. So I'm just gonna round down and say 200 hours. And two scenes in total out of, the, out of all that time, you know, not a lot. It's not a lot. Um, so that's why I s I've told people that if you're going into the game thinking that you're just gonna fuck around and, and you know, all that stuff, you're gonna be very disappointed, I think. <laughs> because that's not really what the game is about. That's what people push, uh, like that type of content is what people push, but it's not what the game is all about. Um, very little... Uh, of the content in the game is related to romancing. Um, but the, the good thing about romancing particular characters is that you get to know them as characters better than if you don't romance them. So that is like something that gives you more. The first run through is crazy how you think that each dialogue decision will have specific consequences, but once you can understand how it works, it does remove the the police a bit. Then it's just curiosity, you guess, even in dialogues, the order of the responses. You can see the algorithm tree and at the end what matters the most is the big end of the act decisions. Hmm. Yeah. That's why I didn't really want to I didn't want to reload in my first playthrough because I, I imagine that everything would matter <laughs> and I just wanted to, to stick with my choices. But I reloaded a lot on my off stream one. That's why I decided to just do an explore um, a difficulty run because I just wanted to see all the different outcomes and stuff. That's a question that could take a lifetime to answer. Lady Shah's followers are my responsibility now. I will need to guide them and root out any heresy that Viconia sowed. But all that must wait for now. The Night Singer's Church cannot thrive if the Absolute isn't stopped. True. When the time comes for the final battle, Lady Shah's faithful will be ready. Until then, we should continue to do what we must. So I have a few, like, I have, I have an idea that I kind of want to, to, to share what I want to do with the ending. Like, I know what I'm supposed to do in this playthrough, but I want to do a hard save before making, like, the big decision after the final boss. So I can see both, because I have a feeling that if I choose the ending that I'm planning to go for here, I will miss out on the epilogue. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to see the epilogue as well uh, after making all of these horrible decisions. Um, so I, I feel like I need to play the ending twice and just reload to see both. So that's kind of my plan because I I feel like I'm going to miss out on a bunch of stuff if I don't do that. You've been known to meme about it being a dating sim with the D&D elements, but seriously, you can see how much game is here, how well it's done, it's hell impressive. Yeah, I mean, I, it wasn't aimed at you uh, specifically. I just know that that's, that's that's how everyone thinks it is that haven't actually played the game. Um, 
it's kind of how it's portrayed online. Um, but the, the romance stuff is very... There's not a lot of it. And then the reason why I see that a lot of people are kind of... I think a lot of people feel scammed because they go into the game as non-gamers. Um, because they think it's basically a dating sim. So they 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 are surprised by how difficult the game can be because they're not used to games. They're not used to gaming. They they at most they might be used to you know the Sims type of games or something like that or more chill games that doesn't have any any sort of combat it, at all. Um so they come into this game thinking that it is similar to that. It's just so story and and then they get frustrated because they're not aware of it being heavily combat based as well. Um So it it's not always the best the way people are portraying the game <laughs> because it does end up being like false advertisement. Um Oh yeah, that game where I can fuck, the, fuck a bear. <laughs> yeah. Like, just show the bottom of your screen with all these icons to someone who thinks it's just a glorified dating sim. Yeah, yeah. When I started playing this game, I was very overwhelmed by all the different uh, icons and stuff. And like, what is... <sighs> There's so much, because a lot of information is just, is just thrown at you. Um, so it has a bit of a steep learning curve. Okay, we're gonna go to the mirror. I, I just need to know what my stats are first. Because you can you can give up one stat to increase another stat by going to this mirror. I didn't do this in my first playthrough though. I actually saw it by watching someone else play and I damn, I wish I'd known that. <laughs> A starring can give up strength because he has <laughs> he has this mace now. <laughs> um. Assume nothing. Um. Looking ahead. What can I give up though? I mean, I don't need wisdom because I, 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 I guess I can do that. I don't know. Huge polished disc looms before you, a mirror, but one that offers no reflection. All it's such a cool screenshot, though. Of endless darkness. If it wasn't. This feels familiar to me somehow. I'm sure I've stood before this mirror before, many times, perhaps. Hmm. Uh, study the mirror, try to grasp its true nature. 25. Okay, that's wild. <laughs> that's, that's wild. Um, it does look overwhelming, even as a pretty seasoned gamer. Yeah. 23? I was so close. I'm gonna reload. <laughs> but I mean, that's... That's also pretty common with MMOs, that you have the the UI. As the UI here is very similar to a lot of MMOs and such, which can also be really overwhelming. A lot of MMOs also has a, a pretty steep learning curve. I guess it depends on the MMO, but you know, there's just so many there, there's so many mechanics and and things you need to learn. This feels familiar to me somehow. I'm sure I've stood before this mirror. Oh, before. perfect. <laughs> a mirror of loss. A relic said to be as old as the church of Shah itself. 
those who stood before it could surrender their very thoughts and memories to the Lady of Loss. Great powers rest within the realm of the mirror, to be granted at the Dark Lady's whim to those making a suitable offering. I'm just taking some screenshots now. <laughs> uh, gaze into the mirror intent on offering it one of your memories. The mirror's emptiness seems to draw you into a stupefying embrace. Your thoughts, feelings, memories, they grow slow and drowsy, drifting away from each other. You must surrender some part of yourself. But what? Uh... He meant a false offering to trick the mirror? I didn't know I could do that! I didn't know I could do that! If this doesn't work, I would go with five, though. Let's, let's go with deception. I don't know if... <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Um... Oh, that seems easy. Well, I probably only got two there, so. What? I disagree. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I need to know. I had to jinx it. But it, it says, it said. Yeah. Yeah, I got some really bad rolls there. <laughs> really bad. Um <laughs> But yeah, it's um Ah, what was it that I was going to say? The mirror's emptiness seems to draw you into a stupefying embrace. You must surrender some part of yourself. What? I'm gonna be really nervous playing this on honor mode because you know even though I didn't reload much in my first playthrough I still died <laughs> is there still no no Ryan it, we, we're done with that we just did uh, talking to the mirror now the the quest itself is done see I said it was easy <laughs> To your surprise, the false memory is accepted. It fades from your mind as easily as it was conjured forth. A foreign sensation assails you. For a moment, you do not feel like yourself. A jumble of memories clamor for your attention. They range from ancient to new, but none are yours. Whatever power lurks deeper in the recesses of the mirror, has no interest in you. The dark mirror seems to turn dormant, its hunger sated. What happened though? What actually happened? Did anything happen? Did I meet with Nocturne yet? No, I haven't. I haven't done that. Um, I actually forgot to do that before going into the room. Um, I meant to, but I kind of forgot. Mutual deception? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna give up wisdom though, because my character doesn't have any use for that. Um, it's definitely better for you to take a break. You feel a lot better, also from earlier stuff as well, but still tired. You must surrender some part of yourself. But what? Let go of some wisdoms that time has bestowed upon you, old wounds, tough lessons, and fond memories alike. Sure. Something precious was surrendered. 
Already you cannot recall its exact nature, but you feel its loss all the same. Still though, for whatever was lost, something new shall be gained. A foreign sensation assails you. For a moment, you do not feel like yourself. Your mind is that of a corrupt alderman, eager to forget his transgressions. You feel them fade away, but your faith in the goddess Saluna is devoured along with them. Whatever power lurks deeper in the recesses of the mirror has no interest in you. The dark mirror seems to turn. But it dark. said the same thing, so the what did I actually gain sated. earlier? Stolen vigor. Your wisdom score has been reduced by two. But what have I gained? What did I actually gain? Does anyone know? <laughs> because I, I, I don't. Absolutely nothing. But I've heard that you can actually gain um, stuff here. No, but I've I've seen it from someone else that they actually got some some more strength or something by doing it. You can, you just didn't right there. Okay, I see. I'm just gonna reload so I don't lose anything then. <laughs> uh, do you have to sacrifice something specific for that? Then I don't know. Maybe it is random. I mean, I'd rather lose nothing than just lose. <laughs> I'm, I'm only going to lose something if I gain something. The mirror's emptiness seems to you must surrender some part of yourself. But what? Sure, let's do deception again. To your surprise, the false memory is accepted. It fades from your mind as easily as it was conjured forth. A foreign sensation assails you. A jumble of memories clamor for your attention. Whatever power lurks to the dark mirrors. Okay. Well, at least I don't lose anything. But yeah, I have. I I don't remember what I who I That's saw it um saw do that. But they actually gained some stats in return. Like they lost two in in one stat and then gained two in a different one. But in my first playthrough, I didn't do anything there because I I didn't want to risk it because I didn't do any reloads and such. So I I didn't want to take the risk. Um, for you, there was also an option to get rid of the knowledge of the Thay book thing, you think, but you didn't trust the mirror at all, so you're just left. Yeah, same. Only a patriarch's loss can open this door. What does that mean? Loss of status? Wealth? I mean, we did take the diamond. Okay, let's go talk to, uh... But have you, do you know, any, do, does anyone know if they have gained something here? I've never done this without having uh, Shadowheart eat the noble stock. Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay eyes on you again. It's me, Nocturne. Do you remember? Remind me? We... We trained together. We used to be close. They trained together. I'm glad to see you're all right. I don't remember you. Oh. A pity. Perhaps we can talk some more later? That is, if you wish, my lady. They said the hunt for the artifact was a suicide mission. I feared I wouldn't see you again. Some even thought it was the Mother Superior's plan alone, and not what Lady Shah wanted. I mean, he was. Seems the whispers were right on that last part. At some point, she confused her ambitions for the Night Singer's will. But no matter. You rule us now. 
what comes next. Hmm. You have? What did you get then? Uh, and what did you give up? You wonder if it's different if you give it to her and if you are the... Uh, I, I would imagine so. Probably. Didn't see her amongst your supporters fighting with Coney. You shouldn't trust her. I expect you'll have catching up to do. Yeah, you command this place now, Shadowheart. What happens is your choice. I wish to know more. There must be all sorts of things you can tell me. Little things from my past, lost to Lady Shah's embrace. If you wish it of me, of course, my lady. I work as the quartermaster. Come see me whenever you wish. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I forgot to go to the secret room. Uh, Shadowheart's secret room. Uh, I knew that there was something that I missed on the way in here. Um, we're gonna do that on the way out, though. Greetings. Do you seek to trade? As Shadowheart's friend, I'll extend the privilege to you as well. Let me see your wares. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff to sell. <laughs> Uh, you don't recall what you gave up, but you got to choose which stat increases, and you cr chose Charisma. Hmm. I see. Yeah, because I have seen- I have seen that happen before, that you can... And I also thought that you could choose the- the stat that you wanted to increase. So I guess it is based on RNG, then. Maybe. Or maybe it depends on what you give up. Or that you have to have a certain amount of stats in, or a certain amount of points in a stat for it to matter? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, we'll just, we'll just sell that. She can have a little bit left. <laughs> uh, does she have any useful scrolls? I've actually heard that this one is really good to use on on uh, Orin. I've never used this spell though. I kind of want to try it at some point. Cause a creature to start dancing, making it unable to take actions or move. Its attack attackers have advantage on attack rolls. Maybe we can try using this on uh, <laughs> on Raphael or something. <laughs> The debuff that you got was removed on long rest, like any curse. Well, I mean, Anytime. curses curses don't disappear after long rest, though. I mean, not all of them. You think there was one dialogue more when you spoke uh, Shadowheart, but might also not remember? Yeah, I mean, this is different if you are... Uh, if you're not... A dark just this year. She will have more dialogue if you are a Salunite because then you will start talking about how, like, she she talks about how brave Shadowheart is to have given up on, like, moved away from Shar. So it is, it is, you will get more. Get Yankee. Part of the Sharon's preparations to seize the Astral Prism, no doubt. We got the dance spell on the bard and it was funny when it worked. Hmm. Raphael Boogie. <laughs> this fight song is already a musical song. I mean, yeah. So, you know, it seems fitting. Did I do the mu- No, I, I I didn't. Actually, I was, I was planning on doing it with all of them, but then I was like, uh, if I- If I- if it's random, whether it works or not, I just decided not to. But I can I can see if it's different with Shadowheart though. Open up. These are all about me. Forty years of my life documented like I was some sort of specimen. Yeah. From the Queen of Soldanessa. I suppose they're mine now. 
I suppose they are. Hi. I could never quite tell if she was proud of them or not. Shar headwear. A dog just wanted one of my own so badly. And the mother superior would always deny me. Yeah, because she was jealous. Still in control. Or envious. Just but you have your own now. I'm ready. An even cooler one. I've got a long road ahead. You thought you got the more when you speak a shadow heart not tab? Dude, this actually looks really cool, though. What's next? <laughs> it, it's just not as cool, but... Oh, she has her hair down now. It's still not over. You wonder if there is more in the origin run? Wait, what do you mean it's not over? Got to keep moving. Well, the rummage. Hmm. Shadowheart. I mean, my lady. I'm sorry. That takes some getting used to. Um, I guess there is more. No need for such formality. We're friends, I suppose. Please, don't call me friend. You know what it's like here. Backstabbing, vying for favor. It could be dangerous for me if others think I'm your favorite. I mean, I didn't say you were my favorite. <laughs> as much as I still can't remember, can you share anything with me from when we were young? Well... You had a pet mouse for a while. It was against the rules, of course. You used to hide him under your robes and feed him from your rations. Did he have a name? <laughs> Nibbles. I suggested Bree, but you were having none of it. <laughs> she caught you with him. Forced you to get rid of him in front of everyone. To make an example. You always loved animals. But you never let yourself get too close after that. I'm sorry. Not the sort of thing you want to hear, I'm sure. Hmm. Don't suppose there are any pleasant memories you could share? Well... You know that little scar on your elbow? You know about that? It's barely the size of a pea. Well... I was there when you picked that up. It was years ago, when we were initiates. Some of the others were intent on tormenting us, until you showed them the error of their ways. I think it was six against two? And most of them were bigger than us, to boot, but you saw them off, all of them! There were some bruised lips and black eyes in the mess hall that night. And from then on, they left us alone. Or at least, they bothered us less. Hmm. What about the scar? A collision between your elbow and the teeth of a girl called Budduck. Budduck? She came away from it worse than you. <laughs> she was on the same mission as you. I suppose she won't be coming back. Hmm. In any case, the Mother Superior soon broke up the fighting, though she didn't punish us. In fact, I saw her smiling. I think she was proud of you. <laughs> um... But yeah, there, there will be other things in Origin Runs, for sure. Um, I have seen a little bit of Astarians. But I didn't want to see too much. Because I also want to do all the Origin Runs as well. <laughs> like, all those dialogue interaction things. Internet went... Oh, is your internet borking out? Anything else? Just small things, silly things. The sort you'd scarcely recall even if your memories were left intact. You had a little hiding place that you went to when you needed to get away. You brought me there sometimes. We'd talk, play, read, 
do each other's hair. I already know where it is. Um, I I forgot to go there before going in here. So my hair, that was you. The plat and fringe. Yes, on your instructions, of course. You were very intent on a bold look. I think you said. <laughs> my hands were cramped by the time I finished, but you were very pleased. Hmm. You mentioned I had a hideout in here somewhere. Where? Hidden at the back of the storage area. Luckily enough, as quartermaster, I was able to keep it hidden back there. It should be, well, if not how you remember it, exactly as you left it. Hmm. Yeah. I was going to go despite there. Everything, despite everything. I never... Pave my path with corpses. Build my castle with bones. Well... Yeah, let's let's go and see if there is anything here with the shadow heart. But after that, we're gonna go to the 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 hideout, and then we're gonna leave. I wonder what's gonna happen when you go out, though. If the uh, the people who the attack you on the way out will do that now as well. I highly doubt it, though. A huge polished disc looms before you. A mirror. One that was used to wrest your memories from you. Ah, uh, offer prayer to the mirror. 25, okay. Well, this, this might not work. <laughs> but we'll see. It could give us a nat 20, though. It gave us a 20, not a nat 20. I'm gonna try again. Okay. You feel a presence, dark and ancient. It approves of your fealty. Gaze into the mirror, intent on offering it one of your memories. Ah, uh, I don't know if we're gonna do that. Or if we're gonna just do the same thing as you before. You feel your goddess's presence once again. As her chosen, you have already made the ultimate offering. Now all you need to do is claim a reward. Oh! Where once the mirror showed nothing, there is now something. Memories, experiences, skills, your own. Surrendered once and now offered back to you to choose from. Uh, I forgot to look at her uh, stats though. I know that she has more Dex than strength, and she has wisdom. No, um, no, wisdom is her highest stat, but it's already at a an even number. But you guys can see it on the overlay, right? What the stats are because I can't check that now, I don't think. Can I? What stats do I need? I need to I need to see what Shadowheart stats are. <laughs> uh thirteen strength, fourteen dex, fourteen constitution, ten intelligence, eighteen whiz. Uh, uh, so it's gonna be uneven no matter which one I choose then, except strength, but that would be kind of pointless. <laughs> but thank you, Choco. <laughs> you restarted the PC. Hmm. Which one do you suggest that I pick, though? Unless I have equipment buffs, I don't think she does. No. Wisdom, yeah. I'm, I'm. I was kind of thinking that because it's already the highest one, and if it's gonna be an even number anyway, might as well go with the the highest one. Yeah. Absorb the wisdom of a novice who weathered harsh lessons and harsher punishments. The sting of the rod washes over you again and again, like some cruel, endless tide. But 
you shall not cry out or let tears bead your eyes. You shall persevere. The memory fades away, yet it leaves its mark on your mind. The dark mirror seems to turn dormant, its hunger sated. Wait, I wasn't... Because it took away two earlier, so I didn't I didn't think clearly that at all there at all. I somehow I just thought it would give you one plus one in the stat and not plus two. But that 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 <laughs> that changes things. I don't know why, I just assumed it would be plus one instead of plus two. I I don't know why, but that so there wasn't even a question there then if I had just thought for a second that he would give me two instead of just one. <laughs> so yeah, for sure, that was that was the best choice. I actually it was the best choice either way. If not over, but especially three. now. Yeah, let's go to the the hideout. Dude, this fight went by so quickly. I did not think it would be that easy. I thought we would be here the entire stream. Can I loot this I one without being seen? I swear to myself to Shadowheart, the Night Singer's chosen. Lady Shah has blessed Silver key? Okay. It wasn't really worth it, but you know, at least we know. Yeah, so at least now we know that there's one fight that goes... Well, that is very easy. Um, on an evil playthrough. <laughs> because the other fights have not been easier. They, they, they have not been easy. Um... So this was nice for a change. Overall, playing as an evil character has made the game a lot more difficult. This is the only exception. Is it in here? I think it is. No. It's in here. Hey, Ryder D. Today's second. <laughs> No, it's not in here. No, wait. I know that there were like planks in front of it. I do remember that. Don't tell me though. I just, I'm just blanking out a little bit. Um, but thank you so much for the lurk, Marty. Huh. Maybe it wasn't in here at all, and it was just... I found it so easily the first time. Was it up here? I don't think so, but no. It's it's too pretty here for that. <laughs> Planking out. But how are you doing, though? How are you doing, Ryder? How you doing? We have we have just done this whole quest now, and it was it was a lot easier than I imagined. Uh, I was so prepared for it to be a pain in the ass. Because I struggled so much with Orin.
and Ketherick. That fight always kills you like six times. I, I I don't know why, but it just it was just so easy. Like the only damage that I've taken is Shadowheart took three damage. That was all, and I didn't even use the globe of invulnerability. We just we just uh We just had uh some more people on our side. Actually, I have played around 30-40 hours with a new character and already done almost all in Act 1 before the Grim Forge area. So it's not like you just started it, but it is because you just started a few days ago. Mm. I see, I see. What a day. But yeah, we... Um... Well, it did do some damage, though. <laughs> Immune to piercing damage. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, well... I know it's force damage that works here, but I... I don't... I don't know why I... Okay, you guys can tell me. I just don't remember where it is. It was not a difficult... It was not difficult to find it the first time, but somehow I just don't know where it is now. <laughs> now that I'm looking for it, I don't know where it is. Now it worked, okay. I just figured maybe I needed to just smash the walls here? Something? Um. You also done some interesting choices that you kind of that are kind of not for you, but you mean they do kind of fit the character, but now you're like, it's not for you at all, but I had to live with it. Wait, what What choices are you talking about? I want to know now. <laughs> the hidden room? Yeah, I know that there are like planks How about this? covering the wall where it is, but for some reason I just can't find it now and I don't know why. I thought it was in one of these two rooms. Yeah, yeah, I, di I did say that, but now I changed my mind. <laughs> now I changed my mind. Um, because I thought it would be here. It was in the deeper area from the fight room. Oh, so I need to do- Because I thought that I, I went there before I- Oh, really? I thought- I, I was so sure that it was in this area before the- um, The fight. But yeah, so- so the, the reason why- like, the reason why this fight was so easy now <laughs> was because- <laughs> Well, we are dark just this year. Oh yeah, this this room. Oh, I forgot that there was an extra room here. Okay, then it makes sense. Now I will know where it is. I forgot about this room. Yeah, it's right here. There it is. You don't say. Um, but yeah, the reason why it went so easily was because she's a dark just this year, and she had the chance to convince other people to join her as the leader instead of Viconia, so we ended up having a few people on our side. Instead of having to fight all of them.
And I wasn't I wasn't quite prepared for that. I, like I didn't know how this would go. <laughs> um I was pre prepared for it to be a lot more painful. Uh because even though I have played the game, I have tried to not see how anything is done. Or... I haven't gotten any spoilers of how quests go. Unless I've done it myself. There may be a few exceptions here and there, but very few. That could be true, but you think it was not possible to find before the fight? Okay, okay. Yeah, um, I mean, you're probably right about that. I just... <laughs> I forgot about it. Uh, I, I just... I was so sure it was the other place, but it's not. Didn't even roll for that? Well... My old haunt. Strange. I don't remember it. Comforting to be here. I did roll while talking to Viconia, though. And I don't know if you had the chance to convince people unless you had done that first. And this is why her favorite flower is Night Orchid. For me. You haven't done the fight with her as a darkness this year yet? Mm. Yeah, I made it a lot easier. But to be fair, if you make your darkness this year, the Ketherick fight is going to be quite a bit harder. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It depends on what difficulty you're playing on as well. Because I'm also playing on tactician so he has a legendary action so that was painful <laughs> <Here goes nothing. laughs> in, in the game so far the 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 fight with Catherick or to be fair I was fighting Merkel the avatar of Merkel because I skipped the first phase I actually think that that made it more difficult because of the way everything was positioned because then the first attack that he did was the legendary action so it just pulled you all in and, and did a bunch of damage right like right at the beginning so i feel like just easing into it by doing the first part of the fight would probably have made it maybe a little bit easier But yeah, it's, it's difficult when you don't have uh, Aelin as well with you. Wait, did I even read this? I probably... Well, I mean, I didn't read it, but I did it. Did I pick it up? Okay, let's talk to Shadowheart. That little hideaway that we found in the cloister. It almost felt like I'd found a piece of my childhood. Childhood I don't truly remember. But remember it or not... I felt right at home there. We're still here. Surrounded by books and night orchids. Hmm. Want to go and spend some more time there? Perhaps that's why you like night orchids. Some part of you remembered them from your little sanctuary. That's what I said. <laughs> I think I said this... I, I mean, can I say all of them, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe I already liked Night Orchids and I chose that place because of them. The particulars of childhood can grow hazy even if your memories haven't been tampered with. But I felt safe there. I know that much. Well, can you imagine what it would have been like growing up in that place? Endless training, no privacy, facing scorn wherever I looked. I can very easily imagine I needed somewhere to escape to, if I was to survive. Nocturne and I must have come here a lot. We probably had plenty we wanted to hide from. Anyway, I think that little hideaway helped shape who I am. 
as much as any sermon or training did. Funny the things that influence you. Hmm. Also, I forgot to I forgot to reply to to to, to Marty about the the dribbles, and I I forgot to I, like I I saw the message, but I forgot to respond. Uh, I have not found all the dribbles, and I kind of want to. <laughs> I kind of want to. Um, because I I think I'm missing two body parts. With a new run, it took you in the goblin camp. You had defeated Minthara and that room, and the orb was only thing left, and it took you like ten turns with only the orb. Uh, a lie because you've got to change for thunder damage and it has like a thing that negates eight damage and only things that did damage was Halson and well but only one or two or miss yeah on on tactician uh, it barely does like it doesn't take any damage unless you do thunder damage it's really stupid <laughs> I also forgot to pass a bonk Minthar, but it was not like you were going to reload for that Really? But it's so worth it, though. I would definitely have reloaded for that. <laughs> She's one of my favorites now. Um, so have your memories been restored? Those that are worth remembering, yes. Lady Shah is ever wise. She knows what I do and do not have to know in order to be her most loyal, most effective servant my training knowledge my experiences my will and faith everything i need to be leader of the cloister anything that's missing well i can't miss what i can't remember i have all i need hmm Uh, what about us? Do you still remember all we've been through? Of course. From the first time I laid eyes on you right until now. That's all safe. I wouldn't surrender even a moment of it. Aww. <laughs> um... I just- I want to say one, but I'm also like, are you sure? It feels like a compromise. What in life isn't? I consider myself blessed to have a goddess guide my very mind. Hmm. Well, I'm glad for you. Not as much as I am. <laughs> my whole life has been leading up to this. At last, I've become who I've always meant to be. Well, that's debatable. Oh, I can still say that. Shars uh, manipulating you still, keeping you loyal by making you forget. I mean, you've been with me all this time. You know exactly what I've sacrificed to achieve this. I know. I had hoped you'd learn to not try and sour my relationship with Lady Shah, but clearly not. Let us speak no more of this. <laughs> um. It's like if you talk to a star and after he has ascended and you mention Kazador, <laughs> they get very defensive. <laughs> I want to talk about all that's happened to us. I wonder if this has changed. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your estimations? How are you holding oh. up? You're someone I can actually turn to when I don't know what to do. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you had like two thunder arrows, but they missed, or the others didn't do much. Mm, yeah, I used I used thunder wave on them. You want to make a run where she would be in the party, but it will not be this run. And while it could be fun to just have her around, if that's possible for this run, it's not a thing. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to have her in your party, but she just has a lot of. She's actually really wise, too. Like, the way that she responds to some of your questions is really... They're very deep and meaningful, you know? I, I, I just... I really like her. 
she's a very cool character. This one looks different. Oh. Well, I guess we can uh, add it to wares. Okay. Wait. Now we're gonna leave, okay? We're done with this place now. We're done with this place. Anything of use? Mm, you really don't want to make a full evil run. But you don't have to. You don't have to be evil to have her in your party. That's the whole point of knocking her out. You know, it was kind of separate. Okay, okay. Yeah, I I really enjoy having her just... Oh. Even if I don't have her in my party, it's just... She's so fun to talk to. <laughs> uh, she's funny. She's probably one of the... Like, obviously, I'm... I, I think Astarn is the funniest. But Minthar, she's the second funniest to me. The more you think about it, the more it makes you feel not good. The full all achievement, the 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 full all character characters evil bad stuff. Yeah, but you don't have to do it. You don't know if it's possible to like. Sp Honestly, I would say it's probably worth. Uh. I don't. Mm. I feel like it would be m worse to do just a little bit bad here and there with most things. Because it makes it... It kind of taints your character a little bit, maybe. But I mean, we're all different though. I don't know if it that would work better for you, but... You kind of want to like get all the achievements for the like to have them, but you don't know if it's really worth it. But yeah, that's why I wanted to make a full evil playthrough because then it would be easier to just distance yourself from it in in the sense that your character is just supposed to be evil instead of just doing one evil thing here, and then that wouldn't affect your character. A self-help book of warning against the dangers. There's one here too. I thought there was only one. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... I think it's easier to just have a full-on evil playthrough. I'm drunk now. What was that? What? That's confusing. You don't know how to explain? I wonder if these people are gonna attack me now, but I don't think so. No. They have no reason to. The writing's on the wall. Along with a fair bit of blood, I suspect. You'll get no trouble from me. Hmm. Good. Okay, let's word. talk to them. Sounds like this. Peace, please. Enough damage has been done already. Okay. Sounds like there's gold inside. Their proceeds. Trust. 
smell. It's not counted as stealing. Certainly. Oh, I, I'm guessing she has the key. Can't give up now. Hmm. There is no need for violence. I understand that things have changed around here. I am no threat, I assure you. She sounded disappointed. <laughs> uh, do you get trophy for... No. You don't get a trophy for choosing any direction with any of the characters. Um, I don't think. Kids have seen everything. So you don't have to do that. Um... I don't think you have to do that for anything, no. Uh... Nah, I'm not gonna bother with that. I don't need the money. Yeah, you only do it to... Um... I don't know, see different sides of the characters and stuff. Um, so... There's not an actual achievement, uh, achievement attached to it. At least not... No, I don't think so. Seems simple enough. So what should we do next? Because I don't think we're gonna go to House of Hope today. That That's gonna take... Uh, a bit more preparation. <laughs> As in... I kind of want to dedicate a whole stream for that, so that will probably be tomorrow, if anything. Hmm. Hold on. I haven't made anything new in a while. Do both. Solution of Night Orchid. Superior Elixir Arcane Cultivation. I wonder how many spell slots that will give. It's been such a long time since I made anything alchemical at all. Have you checked all the hidden trophies for this game? I have. I've tried to not look too much into it when it comes to endings, though. But I do know that the ending that I am going for is... You have to... Well... I don't know if you have to have done too much evil throughout the game to get it. But it would be more difficult to do it if you haven't played as an evil character, because justifying going that route, just, uh, this is the only way that I could justify that. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. Those will be there then. Mm. Wouldn't it also be evil to make everything have good things and then dirge does this in the end like bad stuff sure but it would be out of character well i mean no it wouldn't make sense for a dirge because the dark urge is supposed to be uh like this bloodthirsty character who can't control their urges so you can obviously um, resist those urges, but then going the evil route after resisting those urges doesn't make any sense. I don't know why I picked that one.
do like this one though. You don't know the endings at all? Yeah, I didn't check the endings either until I had gotten my first uh, ending. In case I got spoiled. Supreme. I think that is a level four. Is this level one, two, three, four? Probably. Ah, we can make we can make it. I also kind of want this one too. It's very useful. Universal resistance. I had this one on a starian. But it was a uh, a green one, but this one is is pink. Ah, we can do it. We can craft it. just power I don't know what it does and I wish that it would show me like why does it not show the full explanation here healing superior we need we need we do need that Actually, I'm gonna make all of those. I think I could use... A couple of those. Okay. Yeah, so what should we do now then? Should we go and find the rest of Dribbles? I don't know where to look though. I'll only have two body parts left, I'm pretty sure. You're so tired. To my tonight today you might get it. Mm. <laughs> to to might. See, I I start combining words just to save time, but then I don't save time at all because I end up having to explain it anyway. I don't do it intentionally though. <laughs> You also want to make more playthroughs before you attempt honor mode, so you could utilize different characters for different places and do as much storyline as possible and get used to tactician mode. Yeah, that's why I wanted to do tactician before doing honor mode, so I could kind of practice it. Oh yeah, this is Jahira's house. Never mind. Um, and see who would be best to have with me in what place. Somehow doubt that dribbles will be around here somewhere, but now you fear that because you didn't finish your first run, you never finish a run because you can't go further than the first run because you do you want to make it as well? But you now you have the new one. Hmm. I mean, I've heard a lot of people. Just start new playthroughs so they don't have to finish them. Uh, so you're not the you're not the only one who's done that. I've always wondered if you can ever 
go here, but I I don't think so. <laughs> hmm. This is the like you do it once and then go right to honor mode. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I mean, that's that's why I wanted to choose Tactician first. To get used to uh, the difficulty and such. I didn't know it would be the same difficulty, though. So that helps to, to know. It'd also be nice to have places where Dribbles was found, it said in the journal. Hmm. Me, do you want to finish it? You're joking, right? Do you though? No. <laughs> because I I didn't really want to. I, well, I wanted to get the the like the outcome of all my my choices and everything and see how that would go. But I didn't actually want to finish the game. <laughs> Because you can never get the first playthrough back. Um, in the end, you thought that maybe just maybe it's better to start a new one rather than not play and be anxious, anyways. Hmm. You want to also get used to all classes and characters. Yeah, that that that's gonna take quite a few playthroughs as well. <laughs> I'm looking for, like, secret doors and such now, just to see if there's any... Wait, where the hag is? Is is some part of dribbles with the hag? I mean, I wouldn't attack the hag because we kind of promised not to. Also, what the fuck is up with this blood? What happened there? You want to get to the epilogue, you know, there's supposed to be epilogue. Mm. You don't want the game to be over anyways. Yeah. You do you want to defeat the stuff? Yeah, it's it's difficult because you don't want to, but you you want to, but you don't want to. I know what happens. I just don't know if I want to look it up either, you know? I know I probably should, but I don't know if I want to. Thank you for that, Palm. <laughs> I hate how he said Asterian. Like he's American, because the, the TTS is American, and it shouldn't be. I really don't like it. <laughs> uh. Wait, I can go down here? I've never been down here. Okay, let's try to do that. Let's do that. Dude, there's so many hidden places that I haven't even seen. Let's go down here. Probably need to use, um... 
well. That's not really what I wanted to do. <laughs> My character could even have flown down there. Um. <laughs> I could have used Featherfall, you know? I didn't. And I could have used Fly. Look at all my blood. Damn. Oh no, Palm is here? <laughs> no, that's not what I'm thinking. Um, you also played... Wait, you kind of want to do the same thing over and over again, but then you also want to do it differently in other things. Hmm... You want to see all the sides of all characters, but you're not ready at all for every side, and you don't know if you ever will be, but maybe one day. Mm. Is there any clues where you can find dribbles? I I just know that you can find the, the ball... Um, uh, symbols and stuff outside of the buildings. That's the only way... Like, the only thing that I've been going after really and then the doors are usually locked but they're not red so you can lock pick them without being um without being caught i also played a bit of Elden ring dlc the other day and it was nice but you also had super horrible experience because of one enemy and it made you cry so hard you couldn't continue oh no June also wants to see you play the DLC, but now you definitely can't play it yourself because of that. Oh no. I'm sorry. A bit of bloodborne -y vibes with the thrill of the hunt. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Saeed! That scared you how that came out of nowhere? Wondered where that voice suddenly came from? <laughs> it's just Palm. Zumbo P Pombo? Phoenix Lubbins? Be oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I think I know what this is. Are these the the? Are these the um the Gondians? Are they? Oh no, if that is true. Okay, I want I want the others to come down here as well. Were they just washed up on shore here? Hmm. But how are you doing, Saeed? Can't scare the heck out of here. Uh, why fly when you can just walk? Uh, but I, I, I would love to fly. Do I have any? Uh, Whatever comes. Do you have it? Do you have? Wait, why do you not have this one equipped? What? What was supposed to be there anyway? She should have. Doesn't she have um Featherfall? No, maybe she doesn't. I thought she did though. I thought I had that on her in my first playthrough. Hmm. Maybe it's only if she you no. Know? I don't know. Are those hobbits? No, I think they're, uh, they're, uh, uh, Jesus Christ. I, I forgot the, the, what they're called. <laughs> uh... I also just realized when you were with June in the Kuatoa place that when they chant, like, Boal, it's like the ball, but, like, with the stuff, like, you don't... Well, it's, it's not the same, though, but...
You don't know yet what the what makes the characters sometimes fall down ledges. Yeah, the feather fall boots from the tower in Act One. I do. Wait, was that from Act One? I thought there were some boots that gave you. It gave you the the summon for the raven, the raven summon, and it also gave you Featherfall. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna do this on my own then. All right. What now? Just give them CPR. I think it's a little bit too late for that. I think it's like because it's falls like the red cap is trying to be a god. Hmm. A plea to Gortash. Yeah, I was like, this is probably Gondians. Judging by its many wrinkles, this note has been crumpled, unfolded, and recrumpled countless times. Dearest Lord Gort Gortash, your al almightiness, resplendent master of Baldur's Gate. Thanks to a punishment most just, I have come to know the error of my ways and the wrongness of my heart. I hereby renounce my previous al uh, alliances and vow my undying loyalty and service. As proof of my good faith, I am willing to offer you the names and locations of all gnomes I know who conspire against you. In your infinite wisdom and grace, I am certain you will reunite me with my husband, Spanner, in exchange. With grave, in, uh, grave sincerity, Phoenix Lubbins. Yeah, I thought these were Gaudian gnomes. Maybe. Abandoned journal. You okay -ish? Well, I'm, I'm glad. But I'm hoping you're doing a little bit better than just okay -ish, though. <laughs> uh, not with that attitude. Hmm. The Journal of a Gondian Worker. I did say that they were probably Gondians. <laughs> Artifice can um, outdo magic. Given the right smith and a good set of raw materials. I've carried these words with me all my life. But now I'm beginning to question whether it's really true. Whatever they're doing here with all the steel, it's not good. It's not for good. Forgive me, Gond, but if we get out of here alive, I don't think I'll ever touch an anvil again. You think those boots are from Act 2, but you don't think the Raven boots had Featherfall, but you might rem misremember? Uh, no, I didn't have it as a spell, but it had it like you had uh, Featherfall. Mm -mm -mm. Scroll of Circle of Death. This looks like a very suspicious, uh... Gash in the mountain. <laughs> Can I walk here? I'm just gonna save in case I die. <laughs> but yeah, I have a feeling that they were either in the Iron Throne or they were at uh, the Steel Watch Foundry. So they died in one of two ways, is what I'm thinking. Uh, when you were in go uh, the goblin camp, everyone of the leaders had mentioned, you know, like, the shadow of the big tree chosen, so you didn't remember that? Wait, the big tree? Oh, the big three. Never mind. I, I read that as tree. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> maybe my brain was in shadow of the earth tree still. Um, because I read shadow and then tree instead of three. <laughs> 
So do you remember that? You remember you talked about it uh, one time? Yeah. The priestess Gortash, Minthara, Orin, and the Raglan Catherick. Now they're <laughs> gone, di Didians, yeah. Mm. Your eyes have started to hurt. No, don't, don't, don't hurt. Survivor stash? Oh. So it's in here. Okay, uh, let's go to the nearest, um... I guess it's this one. <laughs> I the I, yeah I can't I can't say anything. <laughs> okay, so we need to go down here, find the stash. But why the blood then? I mean, they could have been... I mean, does it always make sense, the blood in this game? Did you see the amount of blood that I, I got from, from just jumping down? It doesn't always make sense. Isn't this level? Oh, it is! Oh, it's a safe. I didn't see that. Ashes of dried fey flower. Combine with essence to rekindle the magic in this extract. A hunter's guide to hags. I'm not gonna read that. This book seems part diary, part scientific study. Detailed diagrams of hags from green to anis to dune. Fill the margins. This page is written in harsh sloping scrawl. Sentences are blurred with what looks like tears. The girl is dead. We were close, so close to perfecting it. Another day and she would have been safe. But we were too late. It was too much for the mother. I found her swinging from the rafters this morning. Helm, forgive me for not saving her. Forgive me for not saving her child. A two years old and eaten alive by a hag. What is wrong with this world? But it doesn't have to be this way. I'm onto something. I know it. Hags have powerful digestive systems. It's what allows them to turn a child into a hag. However, their gut floor is incredibly sensitive to certain alchemical agents. But with the right ingredients uh, and helm on my side, I could theoretically force the mesis, causing the hag to vomit up a stolen child. That's why she died in my first playthrough, the child. I both pray this works and that I'll never have to use it. Detailed instructions follow on how to make what the author calls the hag's bane. That's why I couldn't save the child, even though I made sure not to... Well... Because I didn't do the quest line in the right order. I didn't go to this house at all. I just accidentally found the hag. And then did the fight. But then the child still died, because I didn't even know about this. Mm, Shadowheart is thankful that we helped her gain her rightful position in the Sharn Cloister. We can count on the dark power of the Sharns in the battle to come. Yeah, so you see, we don't have a lot of quests left. <laughs> uh, Gail met with Mistra in the Outer's Plane. She told him of the true nature of the orb. Da -da 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 -da. I want to find the rest of Dribbles. Also, this is, I can't do this because this is, yeah, this is a bug. Um, this is something we won't do anything about. This is something we won't do anything about because it's just gonna happen automatically. This we can't do anything about. This is also a bug because this should have disappeared. So we only have Dribbles here. This, the House of Hope. 
Yeah, so we literally only have find dribbles, go to House of Hope, and then the final boss. Uh, that is it. Um, it's okay you like it. <laughs> It wasn't me, it was a lie that like, it was the dice that lied. I don't remember it, but I'm sure that's true. What's hiding here? Oh. Just have weak knees. No, that that's that's Gale. Gale has weak knees. <laughs> oh, I need to I need to bring this barrel with me. But yeah, I need to find the rest of Dribbles. I just don't know where to look. Mm, you were surprised when you went to fight the Hag in Act 1. You managed to defeat it before it did the like swap. And teleporting with Mayrina because you hit the stun with the monk ability things so you had like one free round. Mmm. You think you managed to save the child because when you walk around the city, your bard character, you hear the dialogue, banner it. It's okay and other things? Wait, what what do you mean? But it mentioned that that's how you save the child if you have the 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 poison. Uh, where is it though? Hagsbane. And doesn't Gale also have dialogue about walking around or something? Yeah, he does. Isn't Vanner the child the high got? Um, I forgot if that is the mother or the child. You don't remember what you did because that was like it last year, but you know you heard those lines now when you ran. Yeah, because I tried to to save the child as well, but she ended up dying. In a land of Prismere where fair Zabilna reigns, they had their share of the hag trouble. Oh yes, they had it in spades. Hags have a special predic predilection for children and the power inherent to innocence. Disrupting one of the consumption of that power could be cataclysmic for the hag. So maybe this is just a different way of doing it then, but I still don't understand how she died for me. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but I just I just kind of wanted it. <laughs> I'm going to see what it says. Force a hag that has consumed a child to disgorge it instantly. I wonder how you use it, though. If it's something you attach to, like a... Well, I mean, it's a poison, but I mean, are you going to use it with a bow? Let's see. We have to go back to the counting house. What were you thinking? No. I guess not. Uh, you don't know if it's because you have been in Act 1, but the game has not at least crashed now when you played, so you think getting a bit more room for the Sea Dread help, but you don't know what will happen later on. Uh, or if you could try the Act 3 character. I mean, I, people do say that Act 3 can be really rough for uh, their PC. So I wouldn't be surprised if that is the case, that that is why your PC has crashed. Um, because Act 1 is a lot easier on your PC, for sure. Oh, 
Why are you just standing on the on the steel watch? I mean, there could be some uh, dribbles in Rivington as well that I haven't found. No, no, you mustn't. The city is because I have found the part of dribbles that is here. This is what I usually look for because the the symbols are usually outside of the house as well. And if they're not, then the, the door is usually closed or locked, but it's not red. So you can lock pick it without it being seen as breaking in. Just drink it yourself and hope for the best. <laughs> uh, I think we've... No, this is not... Wait, there's one thing we haven't done. Oh, what a delightfully secluded alley. I would have been in my element here once. But you consort with a better class of people now, right? A different class of person. And a different type of consorting. <laughs> Let's just stop this conversation right, right here, shall Here's we? One. Whose pocket would you rather pick? A druid's? Yeah, I, had, I didn't have Shadowheart with me when I was here before. Merrick, any day. Last time I emptied a druid's pocket, all I got for it was a nest of bloody Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything... I mean, I did go into this house but I don't wasn't was there a hatch I think there was a hatch but did I go down it uh you've gotten crashes in night one as well when you play it the first time and they were specifically the save space errors oh, okay can they be in Rivington yeah the first part is in Rivington the first part of Dribbles is found in Rivington. Okay, there's no hatch here. I thought maybe there was. If I go down here, we're gonna be attacked by... Um... Something. No, let's go to Rivington. Uh, you tried to look there. You did round, but you don't know if you missed places. But you did find something else you hadn't found before, so it wasn't for nothing, at least. Wait, what do you mean? What did you find? That's nice to know that they can. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again. Welcome back, Marty. Hello again. That they can still do the dialogue thing, see if you just go back with different characters. Yeah. Yeah, it happened when we went to uh, Stormshore Tabernacle with Gale, because we had already been there, but without Gale. Your first crashes in Act 1 were in the swamp, actually, after the fairy circle thing. Oh. But you'll be in a big... After the hag. You don't remember, but it was something, or it was after a thing that happened, so... Okay. But yeah, now we're just looking for more dribbles. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm missing two parts of dribbles. Oh! Wait, 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 what, 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 what will this dude say now? So, just, just hear me out, guys. Uh, this is something that I learned in this playthrough. When you go to Rivington, when you go to Rivington, 
do not have Shadowheart in your party when you go down here. Because he will, like, after you talk to him, he will just disappear. But it's because you have Shadowheart with you. If you don't, you can trade with him. And he has some pretty powerful items. And that's how I got my robe. That is the best robe that I've ever had in this game. Uh, in this playthrough. Uh, I, I switched to this one though. It's not this one, but it's the, the one that I use for most of the... Most of Act 3. So, this one. This is the one that I've used for the most part. And I bought this from him. So, make sure that you, you get to trade with him before you... Before you have Shadowheart talk to him. Because, you know, it's not really worth doing anyway. He's just going to talk about... Or he's just going to tell you about House of Grief. And... If you already know, then you already know, you know? <laughs> that, that was a vep noise indeed, yeah. He just left for you, yeah. But he was mean. Is it like sorcerer exclusive? No. I mean, no, no uh, clothes are exclusive to anyone, really. Unless, well, not the clothes, at least. Uh, as long as you can... Well. No, as long as you just use spells. It's just for any caster. Um, so, it the while concentrating, you add your spell casting ability modifier to your saving throws and gain a plus one bonus to armor class so it's really good if you you're concentrating on spells and also um yeah so it's really good against uh defending as well but he also has a lot of different like he i also bought a good bow from him that i gave to minthara that gives uh, fairy fire. Um, and he also had a hammer that was really good that I also gave to Minthara before she got the Nerulna. Welcome. You see to peruse the special goods, I take it. What about that ring seems that was stolen? Well, haven't I talked to him about this before? Well, in that case, I can only assume whoever stole it then gave it to me willingly. Dangerous places, camps like these. According to Boulder's mouth, you never know who might be a cutthroat. Is there other ways to get the items? No. Those are exclusive to him. Like, most of the, the items are exclusive if they have... Most of the items aren't possible to get anywhere else except where you find them. Uh, so if you want it, you have to do it here. But I mean, you can always come back and... Uh, If he shows up later, if you talk with Shadowheart there, because you don't remember. No, he doesn't. He just disappears. So you have to... You have to go here without Shadowheart. Um... I wonder, like... That's kind of why I wanted to... Wait, hold on. Summon a spiritual twin of Sathon in a point you can see, dealing 7 to 28 force damage on a hit. Make a creature smaller, its weapon deal less damage, it has disadvantage on strength checks and saving throws. It's also pretty good, but I, I it's not good enough though. <laughs> it is not good enough.
But yeah, I wonder if I can uh, talk to him with Shadowheart now, because I don't really need anything that he has. Worth talking to, perhaps. I took you for one of them for a moment. The refugees, that is. You're a recent arrival for sure, still bearing dust from the road. But you have something they lack. Dignity. These wretches have nowhere to call home. Nothing to live off but what they carry. And nobody to help them but themselves. And me, of course. Okay, so he just doesn't recognize her at all. After all, uh, like after you come back here. With Shadowheart. So now he just doesn't recognize you anymore. Uh, or maybe, maybe that's just... I don't know if he even has anything to say to her when she's a doctor this year. I didn't even try. Um, need more water so you don't wither away? Do it. Don't become withers. You have also not looted absolutely everything, but at times you catch yourself taking all the plates and mugs and books with you still. Mm. You're gonna watch some Netflix and go to sleep now? Hope you have a good sleep, Steph. And, uh... Yeah, hope you have a good weekend, too. <laughs> the quotes. Uh, but now you put them to wares immediately and sell them, so you think that might be a good thing? You don't hoard everything? That is, that is good. Charity is a luxury. Luxury? Alas, you cannot eat grandmother's ashes, nor can you easily trade a golden cup. Okay, so maybe he just stays as, um... Maybe he just stays as a trader Pull yourself together. when you have established death. that he is a trader, you know? But then you don't get the dialogue with Shadowheart, but you know? It's not really that useful. It's just kind of relaxing to taste stuff. I like I like looting as well. <laughs> but it doesn't really fit your character to take everything, but that's a thing you will just look past and do for you. Who, who cares? Who cares if you If you just do do whatever you want to do, I don't really role play. Uh, I I haven't even been able to role play. Is something? I didn't mean to do that. I haven't even been able to role play as a an evil character. I've just been dissociating. <laughs> um. Is it like a dark? No, I. Th no, I think he would just leave anyway. I don't think that has anything to do with uh, Shadowheart uh, being a dark just this year or not. I think it's just if you don't have her in your party when he shares with you that he has some wares to sell. So I don't think that has anything to do with her in that sense. There wasn't anything down the. S I just, I just. Yeah, we all failed to check here. Well, maybe Shadowheart won't fail. Why doesn't she even get the perception check here? Yeah, I didn't go this way. And do that part. I don't know, it's probably not necessary, but... I don't think there's any dribble stuff over here, but... What will this dude say now? 
Why are you giving me all your tools? <laughs> That's nasty. I, I didn't even need to see that it was blasphemous to know that it was blasphemous. You don't know, you don't really roleplay as the character either. Hmm, let's see. Shovel, do I have the shovel on me? Does anyone have a shovel? You do. Okay. I didn't even know that it was right there, but I just took a chance and it worked. Uh, Astarian, you take that. Hold monster. Uh, actually, you can have it. No time to rest. <laughs> Is it really robbing if they don't care? That's. Did I say that to to um to you, Orion? Because I feel like that's no. <laughs> I know I didn't, but. Well, actually, maybe I did. Dream in red. Maybe I actually did say that to you because it was on this playthrough. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is it really robbing you if they don't care? Really? Is it? So, if anyone has any ideas of where to find uh, any any dribbles parts, I actually don't mind people telling me. Because I'm missing two. I'm, I think I'm missing... Um, I think I'm missing a leg and a foot. Uh, I think that's all that I'm missing. It feels like you heard me say that and maybe even made that quote. Mm. <laughs> but you don't know if the time is correct. I mean, it was this month. Are you sure you didn't make the com uh, like the the quote? Open up. Oh. A trap. A trap there. Someone doesn't like visitors. The psalm. What about arms? Uh. For a skeleton key. I don't. I think I. Let Let me have a look again. This is one of the necklaces that you actually do get a duplicate of. Okay, so I have his head, one foot, one leg, one arm, one pelvis. Okay, so it might be an arm and an an arm and a and a and a and a leg maybe. I guess that's probably what I meant. <laughs> I, I might be only missing an arm and a leg. I don't know. You think that's an Orion command or a quote? I'll just help myself. What have we here? Hmm. All's well that ends. Why can't you wear all necklaces? I actually, you know, that's that's a good question. I wish that I could. Heavy chest. Wait, what? Watching me. I don't know if I've ever found this one before. It feels like you've only been here like three times and that's like a week? What? Do 
You have been here many more times than that, Orion. Honestly, you just look online for dribbles. Hmm. Yeah, but I, I just don't like looking things up. <laughs> uh. Might be useful. Trump. Okay. Okay. No, I meant to examine. No, uh, disarm. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't been here in this playthrough. <laughs> the quote. At least five. At least five. Yeah, I, people won't miss anything during this ad break anyway. Traps. How considerate. That was lucky. Because Animal Well and Stars in in Space Time. <laughs> uh, no, but you've been here for uh You were here when I when I fought Cazador as well. Which was like over a month ago, I think. Let's hope for gold. You think that definitely was you then that made that? Mm. <laughs> Do you know that if you pick companion and walk over traps with them, they will gain disapproval? You did that accidentally here. Yeah, I think... Didn't I also tell you... No, wait. I don't know if I told you that, but I did mention it on stream when I went to... Philogears. No, not Philogears, but the... The the, um, the cellar of the dude with the mansion. Quick step. With the dude who makes all the, the plushies and stuff. It hasn't happened with me, but nothing hurts anymore. If you deliberately walk over traps, um, if you have perceived them, they will disapprove. I should speak up. Uh, my legs. I can't feel them. Tell the others. Let the boss know. This man is not long for this world. I've actually seen uh, this dude turn into Orin for someone. Who is your boss? Stone Lord. He'll saw this. He'll get him. You hear the blood gurgle in his struggling lungs. His last ounce of strength is spent. Dies so dramatically <laughs> every time. Um, I didn't mean to do it, but it, it was fair. To keep going. Wait, 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 Astorian, you can you can use uh, speak with dead. I just did it so that I could have it active, so I can see who I can use it on. No Not because I had any interest in talking to this dude specifically. Um, there's multiple ways to find Ori. No, I mean like when she shapeshifts. Let's have a look. Hmm. Be careful. There are traps about. Let's see. That's kind of cool, actually. 
You also get it now with how when you said like the game kind of pushes the the Fey book to a star and there's like a cutscene with him with a book and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it was meant for him. <laughs> it's like it was meant for him. Um, I forgot to use this. I feel like that shouldn't happen. You, you... I'm not gonna use my last one on that. Step lightly. She was like a blacksmith for you and a couple of other places like the one in Rivington behind the tieflings. Yeah, I think it... I think it depends on who you go to first. I've also seen her turn into the, the journalist near the bridge. That is like right up here. Uh, that didn't happen for me though. I just saw it in someone else's stream. But I think it's the two first people that you meet in Rivington that she shapeshifts into, that you talk to. So it's just random. For me, in my first playthrough, she turned into um, the guy behind um, the refugee storage space near the, the tieflings. And she also turned into into the, the, um, the fortune teller at the circus. What's in here? Uh, you don't remember the third place, but you think it was three times? Oh, for me it only happens twice, and it depends on who I'm talking to first. And I've done this three times now, and it's only ever been two places for me. Or two two people. Well, hello. She can do that. Yeah, she can. Uh, severed arm. It would have been nice if this was uh, dribbles. <laughs> can this be dribbles? <laughs> I can't. I, I don't think it was dribbles. <laughs> uh, I kind of I kind of need dribbles' arm, you know. You would trust me on that because it's last year when you got them as well. But how will it be different then if she's the fortune teller? Um. Well, the thing is, she will still do the fortune telling, or like the love reading. I mean, and. You know, the, the transition after she's done talking, when you move from from the the illusion, like the place you're in, and then she kind of walks on one side of you, and then it transitions and she appears on the other side of you. She then shapeshifts into Orin. So it's after she's done the love reading. Still alive, so that's progress. So the t no, 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 it wouldn't be different. It would be the same. Celeste costs two dollars on Steam now. Time to press yeah. Ahead. Now you should you should buy all the games that you want to play on Steam. Okay, now I'm gonna do this quickly because this is something that I only f like I failed this in my first playthrough, and if I fail it again, I'm gonna I'm gonna reload. Same ship was at Moonrise Towers, if I'm not mistaken. Because I stopped here. Looks like those two are about to fight. Nobody messes with the Stone Lord, Rattling. Nine Fingers sent her love, asshole. Your Stone Lord's a dead man walking. You, help me kill these asses. The girls will sprinkle you with gold. I mean, I'm already on her side. <laughs> yeah, the clown makeup on in the circus for the whole party. What happened here for you, for me? So whenever I see anyone, I try to sneak up so I can like. I don't want to rush in. Um. 
but it just ended up with them fighting without me being there. Well, I mean, I was just watching. And then when I moved closer, like, I didn't get the cutscene, and then I was just thrown into the fight, and then I couldn't choose sides or anything. Um, so you kind of just have to rush in here, apparently. Um... I could go for some spoils, I'm in. You picked the wrong side, cock. <laughs> Slice them! Slice them now! Uh, you don't know me. I mean, I am on her side, so... On Nine Finger side, I mean. Outmaneuver them. Wait, hold on. I'm not doing as much damage now that I'm, uh... Well, actually, that... What? I hate when they do that. Might grab Disco Elysium for four dollars. Hmm. For you all fought everyone, you didn't, you didn't know everything about Stone Lord or Nine Fingers. Me either. I didn't either. So I was like, I don't wait. Who? Well, like, how am I supposed to know what side to be on? <laughs> But now I do, though. My poor doggo. Hmm. Uh, frighten. Oh, damn. That was a critical hit. I don't know. Uh, maybe you should wait until you get a new PC to buy more new games from Steam. Hmm. You kind of want to get the card game roguelike. Which one? The... Um, is it Slay the Spy or something? I don't know. I don't know. Time to push my luck again. Other games, but you don't think you would play any new games anytime soon? Oh, Balacho. Wait, I didn't know that that was like a was considered a roguelike. I don't want them to get healed. <laughs> Cutting to the chase. I know I didn't have to do that, but I kind of just wanted to. Orc massage is 20% off. So is Baldur's Gate 3, which is uh, something that that is a lot more worth your time. <laughs> I would I would imagine. I can't say for sure. Moving. But I think it's it's pretty much a safe bet. I mean, uh... Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, fine. It did do quite a bit of damage, though. For the Stone Lord. Damn, you made my. Wait, who? Wait, what? What weapon? What the fuck? How did he do so much damage? Damn. <laughs> what? That's insane. <laughs> That's actually wild. How how is that possible? that one because even if he gets healed now it's not like he can ow a barbarian doing that little damage it's kind of embarrassing isn't it But he came early this year. I thought Bellatra was an older game. Like, I know that it was, like, it got really popular this year, but I thought it was actually an older game. I'm gonna use the disarm one. Wait, I can't? Wait, where's the disarm one? Oh, it's here. There. <laughs> I'm just blind, okay? It didn't work though. Now it did. Now it did. Well, that's too bad. She's had a rough day today. I think she will be fine. In the sense that she 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 had a massive win today in, in a way, but also a massive loss. But she doesn't even know that she did. Just in case one isn't enough. You don't know anything other than you have seen a couple of clips of it and that it was like a new game. Yeah, I, honestly, I don't know either. How many casts you got? Like five? You did good, stranger. Someone had tried to slink away rather than get involved. 
They wouldn't earn the gratitude of the guild. Uh how happy to help. Who did we just kill? <laughs> A new flavor of scum that's been muscling in on our business. Agents of the Stone Lord. Mm. I heard the Stone Lord's name from a dying man. Who is he? I mean, I already know, but... He's a newcomer to our delightful underworld. And he doesn't play nice with others. Um, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, surely you can't stand against the guild. Well, I reckon I deserve a reward for killing his agents. I mean, I mean, it's not wrong. The guild always rewards good work. Now scram! Oh, I did. Oh, we dealt with the Stone Lord smugglers. The guild will be grateful. Nice. Let's do a, a short rest. As a no, wait. We need to rev <laughs> we need to revive uh, Shadowheart first. Um, that was wild though. I have never seen her die that fast. I don't think that was. I don't even know what happened. It went by so quickly. Also, I I still haven't tried using this. I don't know if you can use this in Act Three, but I still carry it around with me in case I can use it. But I still forget about it. Um. I revivify. No, I mean we can go to Withers. Actually, that's better. That is better, because then she will also be at full health, and that's also better. I have too much money, uh, so might as well. Oh, let's see what they have to say now. Do you have item for how... For it, or is it like some level of perks, uh, perk thing? Wait, which one? What are you talking about? Killing one's parents can be an important rite of passage, a usurpation of their place in society. Though she does not remember what she has done, the child Shadowheart became a proud woman today and a strong leader. Honestly, though, Minthar is so badass. <laughs> Let's hope Shadowheart's actions do not return to haunt her. I know they would haunt me. And that's why I wouldn't want her to, to kill her parents in my first playthrough. But we did it this time. Of course, Dirge would take advantage of them, the, the situation, even though I already killed Stolenord. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Why not? Did more magic missile uh, casts? Of fate turns ever yeah, because you can, dark. if you use a different level of spell, thou require a new of the spell. Ally, or mayhaps a resurrection thou mayest. Uh, if you if you use a different level, then you get more missiles. Wanted to watch over Shadowheart. As thou wishest. No, it does. It does both. No, wait. I clicked the wrong one. Thy wheel. Of dost thou require a new ally? Which of them dost thou require? This is the price of balance. Thou wilt <laughs> now find them as they were. I think I asked him exactly to to watch over her for now. Asked, dost thou require anything else? Wait. Which of them dost thou require? I shall walk. Dost thou require anything else? By doom what does that mean? I think it's just so you can... If you don't have the money to resurrect them or something. Rise. And you just want uh, like tell, tell him to, to watch over them in the meantime. For now. Yeah.
You have seen a ring that gives more casts to it. Hmm. So that's where the Withers Closet memes are from. Wait, what what memes? Okay, let's leave camp. And then we can do a short rest. <laughs> I can't believe that this this fight actually did more damage to 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 anyone, really, than the whole House of Grief fight. <laughs> let's go hurt someone. So insane to think about. <laughs> like I, I still can't get over it. Maybe I need more pockets. Someone being in Wither's closet. Oh, but you didn't realize it was like if they were dead and you had to say like keep them there. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just mostly in case you don't have the, the money to resurrect them or something like that. Oh, Firestone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shadowheart, she dropped. She was the one who dropped these. I'll grab that. They used... Um, the weapon disarm thing. But yeah, we need to find... We need to find the rest of Dribbles. Corpse Oh yeah, this is where you get this one. Um... I'll probably not use it though. No, oh, wait. I, uh, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I was going to read it, but it's fine. <laughs> See, it still has the, 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 the shadow curse on it. The ship. I wonder why. Like, what makes the shadow curse stick to the ship like that? Intestines throb. Blood whispers. Have I been this way before? I have something to ask. Scurry off back to the streets now. Well, I just wanted to, uh, to talk. Okay. I guess they don't want to talk. Scrap and shrapnel grenade. I'll take it. I'll take it. Wooden chest. What's in here? Uh, she lost the one effect she had. Wait, what effect? Oh yeah, it was because she uh she had a. Uh, um. She took the concentration potion thing. This one goes to Lazel. Mm, you also realize that with the bard tab, the reason one one reason Karlak and Shadowheart don't do much with ranged attacks is because they still have starting crossbows like no effect at all. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, she doesn't really do much damage with the ones she has uh, now either, even if she uses the Firestoker one. A fossilized shell? Oh yeah, this is the, the, the shield! I kept one of these from the Kobotoas because I, I just really like the shield. <laughs> it looks so cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. We we need to find dribbles. I just don't know where to begin to look for him.
Oh yeah, I forgot. Like I was like, I forgot to to go here, and I was wondering how did I get to this cave again? And now I remember. I remember there was a walnut in one of the barrels. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I remember that, but it's like <laughs> there was one walnut on one one of the barrels, and I just remember that for some reason. All the gold. Poutine. I never had poutine. Well, at least we know where we can go if we need a bunch of money, but that has never been an issue in my playthroughs. Um, on the contrary. But I still want to see what they're worth. I'm still a loot goblin, you know? What color is my underwear? Jesus Christ, did I summon you by mentioning poutine? <laughs> I think I summoned Jean, because Jean is the only one that I know of who talks about poutine and is like, that's who I associate with it. <laughs> Hey, Jean. I'm gonna go with red. I'm gonna go with red. How you doing, though? Lazel has, like, a very good bow with nice effects. Yeah, Lazel's bow is really good as well. It, it was red. You don't know what it was for. Wait, what do you mean? What was red? Isn't that a different symbol? Wait, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm so slow at catching up, so I don't even know. Brutal Leap? Oh yeah, these! I actually had these on Astorian. In my first playthrough. What if I give them to my character, though? No, I think I have really good sh uh, boots now. I think it's the ones that, um... Yeah, you're gonna have plus one bonus to charisma checks and saving throws. Yeah, I got them from, from Gortash, but... But these are better. Uh, uglier, though. We, we need to, we need to dye them. <laughs> we need, we need to dye these boots, because these are ugly. These look, these look better, but I also should dye those as well if I am going to use them. Uh, you want poutine? <laughs> Gray and you had cheese pizza, so you're grand. Mm. That is good. That is good. I also had pizza today. How goes stream? It goes pretty well. We have done some really, really... Uh, honestly, some amazing stuff today. <laughs> I'm just, I'm still kind of surprised at how well it went. Um, so now we're just kind of chilling because we can't really go to the next big quest yet. But, well, I mean, we could, but I just don't want to, I don't want to start it yet. You keep having these lags and your internet went again? Oh. Do you know if the ending achievements are the most bottom ones on the list? Wait, I don't- I don't- I don't know. I think it's- It depends on where you look, because sometimes it will sort, uh... After, like, the, the ones that are the rarest achievements. <gasps> There's a walnut! And another walnut! I told you. <laughs> See, I told you. Um, no, not equipment. I meant to sort 
like that. No way, I also meant to. That's what I meant to do. We don't know if it's the internet or PC or Twitch as well. Mm. You think Steam has that? Yeah, but I. it depends on how you look at it because you can look at at the list of achievements in different ways. So I don't know. Anything of use? I don't know which one you're looking at, so I can't tell you. It depends. Um, silk root? I had a bag of holding. What a silk root. Eagle feather? Let's see. You think you would not want to see the endings, but you would like to like see so you could plan stuff? Hmm. I mean, they're not very descriptive, though. I guess. But there is one ending that is related to doing an evil dirge run, like I am doing here. Um, and that becomes very clear when you read it. But it's because of... You also understand when you get the... When you've done the... Um, the quester you beat Orin as well. What are the things you don't want to do if you could do it anyway? Hmm. I think you would like to at least finish the game once. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. Before knowing. Yeah, I also looked at it after uh, finishing the game once. I didn't want to know either. So I get it. I get it. I, I guess I just have to look it up the the dribbles parts let me just do that real quick um all dribbles the clown body part locations okay i just need to look at what i have um, so we have the torso, we have the pelvis, we have an arm, we have a leg, we have a foot, we have the hand and- no, head and we have it. We're missing the hand, so there's only one we don't have? Wait, on a plate in Popper's store in the Circus of the Last Days, Popper will charge 10,000 gold, but players can convince him to hand it over through dialogue or steal it outright. So that's how we get it? We need to just go to the circus? Are you kidding me? What? Really? That's where it's been all along? I just had to go to the circus? So I only miss one. I thought I was missing two. I didn't know that Popper had it. Why does Popper have his hand? You were close to the three. Oh, yeah, you were really close there, Ryan. Shouldn't have said maybe today you will get it. <laughs> <laughs> Cl 
clown's severed hand. Here it is. Jesus Christ, I didn't even know. And I could just, I could just pickpocket it. What? Popper, come here. Clown man is dead. Oh well. Want a treat -o. Uh, that's a little callous. Why? I die, you die, we all die. Big wolf. <laughs> Big wolf. Have a treat -o. It'll make it better. <laughs> it was a vile mess. Dribbles the clown's penis was lodged in the drain pipe. Not moist the way it was supposed to be, but it was hard to find it. That is, can't have your clown zombie be a eunuch now. The necromancer used its magic super glue and made Dribbles a zombie clown uniform. Well, that's not really where I thought it would go, but I, seeing as it's you, Palm, I'm not really that surprised. Stop it. We don't all need to go here. Find Dribbles the Clown. We have all of Dribbles' body parts. We should bring them to Ringmaster Lucretius. Yes. Finally. We have all... <laughs> we have all of dribble, Dribbles. Yes! I has lots of stuff. Just for you. I didn't know it was right here. That is so annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna sell all these as well. Yeah, I would never have guessed this if I hadn't looked it up, honestly. I would never have been able to, to find that on my own. Bye bye now. Come back to Papa soon. That might be your last piece then as well, but do you have to steal it then? No, you don't have to, but that is definitely the easiest way. One day I'll catch a break. It says here, I, I read it out loud. Um, on a plate in Popper's store in the Circus of the Last Days, Popper will charge 10,000 gold, but players can f convince him to hand it over through dialogue or steal it. But I didn't get the option to convince him to give it to me, though. But yeah, the thing is, Orion, if if um, if Orin turns into her, the love reader, the fortune teller, she will disappear. So you can't talk to her again after. But then again, you can't really do another love reading either, so it's like, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, she will just disappear. What? What? That's nasty. Itchy and scratchy. <laughs> Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding dribbles? This is every part of dribbles I could find. Oh, perfection. This is just what I need. His flesh has a few rat bites, and his teeth are missing, but these are minor issues. I shall remake Dribbles better than before, where once he was famous, he will now become legend. And you? <laughs> Here, darling, a little something from your friend, Lucretius. My circus and I can now finally leave! Uh, 
It's a big circus. How are you going to get out of the city? I hope I can read all of them or say all of them. Wait, I've never seen him stand with his with his hands crossed during dialogues like that, and he looks <laughs> he looks happy. It's <laughs> so funny. It's called magic, darling. Do keep up. Um, you're leaving right now? Not this instant. So should you wish for anything from my staff, be quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, and if you do take on the absolute, do try not to end up like poor dribbles. You are so very pretty after all. Why, thank you. Wait, 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 I wanted to say, I wanted to, I wanted to say another one. That's why I saved, because I, I didn't, I thought that I could say more than one. I didn't even see what I got. I know that it was a pair of gloves, but I didn't look at it. Um... So we finally finished Dribbles' quest. <laughs> uh, I never thought this day would come. I shall remake Dribbles best and you. Here, darling, a little something from your friend, Lucretius. It's called magic, darling. You wouldn't happen to be hiring, would you? As much fun as you and I would have on the road, alas, no. I think we both know that you're destined for greater things. Oh, and if you do take on the absolute... Okay. Lucretius thanked us for our help. She intends to raise dribbles from the dead with some improvements. This, uh, with some improvements. The circle, the circus will soon leave Worms Crossing. Spellmite Gloves. When casting a spell that requires an attack roll, you can take a minus five penalty to the roll to deal an additional one eight damage. That's not really worth it. But you know, I'll take it. Thank you for finding dribbles, darling. Be sure you don't forget me. Hmm? Hmm. I won't. I won't. But yeah, we did it. You will pay it then? Why? 10,000? Why would you want to waste that much money? Poor Kato. Something's on my mind. My kills. My prey. You took them! Run! I'll find you! Eat you! Coward! With a flick of the wrist. No use. It's blocked. I just wanted to see if I could. Hello, it's my friend! May you and your family have full bellies and a warm place to rest always. Be well. Oh, it's such a good boy. Roman zombie dribbles? I think not. We leave soon. Pity. I like this place. Very bloody. Place? Place or plane? <laughs> I never went back here to see if there was anything to, to loot. But it doesn't seem like there is. Hmm. Yeah, I, I... That's weird. Having finished Dribbles' quest, that's strange. But I... I can't believe it was that easy. <laughs> it would not be a waste. You would not do it... Uh, do it for Dribbles, but for Popper. But Popper eats babies. Why would you want to help him? Your characters are not a thief like that. So you never steal anything, Orion? Okay, I guess we're gonna go to... Uh...
And this time you would wager you would also just have that money anyway. Hmm. Do you ever buy the statue? Or I guess you've only done it once. So ever would be kind of weird to say. <laughs> um, I highly recommend using the, uh, getting the statue at least. That's a better use of the money. And it's only half the amount of money. You do have stolen things and broken into a couple of places, but not all and everything. But I mean, yeah, you're not really stealing Dribbles' hand. Like, what is he going to use the, the hand for? You're actually helping the circus, you know? You're helping Popper by, by putting Dribbles back together. You ever gotten... If you got dialogue about eating babies, but, like, you don't know, you just... Hmm. You do have the statue. I mean, it did say stealing. True. But I... You can't really trust the game with that. I have also... Uh, been able to loot things from, from when it's not marked as red. And it has still been considered stealing. So, you know, I don't know if I trust the game in that regard. We have not gone here at all in this playthrough. This head's a long way from home. Belongs to one of the Fugue Plains Death Devils. Hmm. Cursed to put my hands on everything. That's a fiend skull. By the size, I'm guessing a Gargatula. So many infernal items. Looks like a genuine Diabolus collection. True. Don't touch because me. it is. Like a wraith. Let's go. Sure, but it also like how you just play and view things. Mm. I, I <laughs> even in my first playthrough when I was playing a somewhat somewhat good person I didn't care about stealing. When it comes to games, I don't really give a shit about stealing. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone. But she usually doesn't. Hmm. Mine's never quiet. While you don't put yourself into the character you play as, it's like stuff for that as well. Uh, you also don't care about stealing stuff if it says stealing when you have defeated or killed Goblin Camp, for example. Is that considered stealing though? I mean, maybe it is. to the devil's fee where every hellish curio is a oh it's you your little scroot of a friend left this on my floor the last time you visited oh i presume you have returned to re-engage my services oh this is dirge related stuff oh Oh, I didn't I didn't know I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. Sometimes stuff becomes not red after you defeat places, but not every time. New Dorge lore. Well, it's not really new, but um so it's basically known at this point that we went like we were the one who went and uh stole the crown of Carses. And she was the one who helped us break into the house. 
with Gortash to do that. Helsinki. <laughs> um... Shit, this again. Remind me of our past association. I think we can say three after that as well. Your wares bring them before me. <laughs> you forgot what we did? I find that hard to believe. But if you speak truth, perhaps I could jog that lazy memory of yours. There must be a catch. You seek answers. Lord Mammon seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me an offer. Hmm. It's customary for any <laughs> growl. <laughs> what a growl. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> You tried that last time, too. I did? You want answers, you pay. Just like everyone else. Mammon is nothing if not egalitarian. Apparently I tried that last time, too. Okay, we can... Persuasion. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's do that. <laughs> I tried that last time, too. <laughs> the first hit's free, eh? My, you have changed. Fine. Just this once. You stand before Mammon's picklock. Latchkeeper of the Nine Hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the Hells. That's my thing. I opened a portal for you and Lord Gortash. Hmm. Uh, where in the house did the portal go? Or what business do we have in the house? Yeah. My word, this is embarrassing. Perhaps I should have explained our terms better. You asked me to jog your memory. Jog I did. Our micro pact is complete. Would you like to make another transaction? Hmm. Uh, how much to tell me everything about your dealings with Gortash? You are just no fun. Well, adjusting for inflation, appreciable value of knowledge, but factoring in a dead as doornails archduke. There we are. Hmm. Well, that's cheaper than I thought it would be, honestly. And I have too much money, so might as well. Sounds like a deal. Oh, yes. I should think that'll do deliciously. The two of you wanted to steal something from Mephistopheles. So I punched a portal into the Archdevil's dusty vaults. That something was the inimitable crown of Carsus. You and Gortash absconded with it. Catching the interest of a devil named Raphael. His house of hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Hmm. Perhaps it's time we paid Raphael a visit. Indeed. Uh, that information wasn't worth what I paid. I mean, that's... I wonder what she would say to that. <laughs> you wanted to toss a single coin, but you were too intimidated to just ask about what price and you, you would pay. Mm. And yet you paid anyway. What a terrible cosmic coincidence. Can you help me break into the House of Hope? So keen to return to the Hells. 
Well, I suppose it's warm this time of year. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. You wish. Such a task would be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain. Shut up, Emperor. Waive the fee and I'll add one of Raphael's artifacts to your collection. Or you'll have that prize or I'll have you. I already pa I paid you too much. Uh, no, I'm going to use Persuasion because... I know what's going to happen with this. Oh, perfect. We got a nat 20. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Indeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Sure. Deal. Let's do this. Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Mm. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask who's blood. I mean, would Along I even with know? The grimoire and components, Helsic hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone. Okay. Uh, you traded the gloves for that, and it did give you give it. You gave them to Helsic in, at the end as well? I did not. <laughs> yeah, I need to I need to steal back the um, the contract. Do you know if it's possible to leave House of Hope and go back if you have not stolen anything yet? I don't know, I don't know. But We have not done something very important today. <laughs> Look at you, precious thing. You always stare so eagerly. Exactly, Ryan, because I'm about to end and we need to do this before I end. Go on then. I'll allow it. Could I kiss you? Sure. How could I say no? <laughs> you are my favorite, after all. Oh. It's been a while since I had the love. Also, it's kind of funny doing this in front of everyone. <laughs> it's kind of funny doing this in front of everyone. In front of the counter as well. Perfect. Every time. Okay, what are we to you? I, uh, he has said different things every time now, so I'm kind of curious to see how many he has. 7,000 souls have given me the power to carve out my own future. And I want you to be part of it. That one is also new. Holy crap, how many does he have? Dude, that is also new. I've never heard him say that one before. I think he's had like at least four or five different ones. Damn, that's wild. Yeah, we're gonna do a heart save. To the house of hope. 
That's what we're gonna do tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> um, you can't really say anything on that. Mm. But it's so wild because a starion, when he's a spawn, before doing his quest, he has only one thing that he says. And he also has only one dialogue after his quest as a spawn. But Ascended Astorian has so many different ones. It kind of it's kind of sad that he has so much more content as Ascended. I I, I wish that it was a little bit more equal in that sense. Uh hold on, let me put on some music. Uh, 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 but yeah, I feel like we've been able to do a lot today, even though, you know, not really. <laughs> it's just what we did ended up taking less time than I was prepared for. I wasn't prepared for that fight to take the entire stream and then it was over in after like in, in less than two, two hours. Like, that whole quest was over in, like, two hours. Maybe two and a half. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, but it was... <laughs> so we we finished Shadowheart's quest. Also, I have shower today, so I don't know why it looks so greasy right now, my hair. It's just parted in a weird way. Anyway, um, we have finished Shadowheart's quest. And we have found all the dribbles. So that's good. We only have one thing to do before going to the final fight. And that is going to House of Hope. We only have House of Hope. And then it's straight for the nether brain. So hopefully next week we will be able to finish the game. I've said I know that I've said that every week, but it's because I've been canceling um streams when I've had when I was supposed to play the game, um, so things haven't gone exactly as planned. But we are really close now, like really, really, really close. We only have one quest left, and we need to we need to get our contract from House of Hope because we signed the contract with Raphael. We did sign the contract, and uh, I don't want to give him the crown. <laughs> I don't want to give him the crown. So we have to do that. So we have the hammer, but... But let's see. Let's see if we can find someone to raid. <gasps> I know exactly who we're gonna raid. I know exactly who. Because th this is also someone that I've recently gotten to know. Who is also playing Baldur's Gate. He is playing... Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 on honor mode, but I think he's in Act 1. He started this honor mode run when I was in his stream. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think. But I do, yeah, I do think he's still in Act 1. Um, but yeah, it's Hey FK. Uh, and he he's also like his favorite is Shadowheart and Astarian. He 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 has a t-shirt with a Shadowheart as well. <laughs> so uh Let's let's go go give him a raid. Let's go go raid raid uh, Go raid him. Let's see. I need to scroll a little bit to find it. Um yeah, so he's doing honor mode, like a dirge honor mode run. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start the raid. You wish you had Baldur's Gate 3 merch? You don't know if they have official clothing, though? I don't think they do. I don't think they do. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here, though. We're gonna be back again tomorrow, by the way. We are gonna be back again tomorrow. We're gonna do House of Hope. 
So I hope I will see some of you there. It's going to be fun. Well, it's going to be terrifying, but it's also going to be fun. <laughs> I, I'm... Um, I'm excited for it. But thanks for stream. Thank you so much for being here, Marty and Orion. Under five hours, uh, House of Hope incoming. Well, I mean, I did it in one stream on my first playthrough as well. I don't remember how long it took. But this, the, the, the VOD is literally called, on YouTube, it's literally called House of Hope from start uh, from the beginning to, to end. <laughs> so I did all of it in one run. Uh, because I, I beat him on the first try in my first playthrough. Um, so we'll see how we, it's going to go this time. But yeah, thank you so much for being here. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Hope you want to join in for the raid. I'll see you.